Oh man, that hello like, everybody. <laughs> what up? That cutoff scared me a little bit. I was like, uh oh, everything just went silent. I think I went deaf. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Thirteen, man down. Man, man down. down. Our glorious Tate Hate is not with us today. Not in a sense to where he's gone to the nether realm. But uh, <laughs> he went to Chicago. Chicago. Tate, Chicago. Tate went to go to Chicago. Go eat some pizza. Go hang with his uh, his lady. Uh, I don't. Me actually, yeah, Jason and I were talking about this. I, I don't know if it was like a business. I think it was purely pre pleasure trip. Yeah. I was say the only thing I ever remember Tate ever talking about is MMA, poker, beer, fried chicken. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> and IT. He he does IT yeah. too. So what's up, Eric? Welcome back, man. What are you drinking tonight? Hey, I offered. <laughs> Wait, offer what? <laughs> to fill on the spot, I think. Oh, that's right. I was like, wait, Whoa. what did you offer? <laughs> yeah, it's lemony. Yeah, so uh, so since we decided since Tate's not here tonight, we're not going to wow. do our regular kind of beer reviews. I mean, we'll talk about them, obviously. Uh, brews is part of the title. But uh, we all just kind of each grabbed uh, a six-pack plus of uh, three different brews, hey, something that we wanted to drink. I heard you going through puberty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my voice still cracked. One day, one day I'll be a real man. Can you imagine if I hadn't pu hit puberty yet and could already do this? Man. Like, and then I did it. <laughs> It'd be terrible. Is that like a 12-year-old Mexican mustache? Is that yeah, it? <laughs> this is exactly what's going on here. Uh, anybody who's drinking, also let us know what you're drinking. We always want to know. But, uh, so... I don't know if Eric made it to the hideaway that day because we must have missed him if he did oh, oh, what's the up, October October Fest one? yeah uh, well I didn't see him there if he was there he, he was there after we left went later that night or something yeah we went we kind of in the afternoon 5 30 maybe Fest, so we were there what two to like five yeah like five five thirty we left by around there Lynn what's up dude uh I so flip you off because you're on your <laughs> shit yeah so picks for the night um I decided to go with the uh ballast point uh Commodore it's an American stout uh, I think I got some facts here on the side. Yeah, it's 6.5% uh, by volume. Uh, Ballast Point always makes really good beers. Um, I haven't actually discovered it yet. Is that our first one of theirs on the show? With Ballast Point? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah I think so. Uh, I will say the the only thing that I ever, like, kind of am iffy on on Ballast Point is, like, they normally have, like, 12 dollars six-packs. This one actually was just a normal eight ninety nine six-pack. Mm -hmm. So, like, and they do have a few. Like, they do have a couple of those. So, like... If price is a big thing, people are like, oh, I don't want to spend that much on beer. Like, you yeah. can still buy it for the same as another craft brew. Um, actually, that's a really good stout. Man, that's my first sip. So he's first got the stout with Bell's Point, Jason. Yeah. Uh, it's not this had. one. <laughs> I had the Pitched Blue uh, by Empyrean. They did a really good job with the peanut butter one that we all liked. Yeah. Uh, if you watch this quite a bit, uh, we all, actually, you didn't. It wasn't in your top, but it was in Tate's top, your it top, wasn't my, my top, top three. But it yeah, it's up there. So it was really good. So I decided to go ahead and try the uh, pitch blue. I got it because it said black and blueberry ale. I thought they meant blackberry and blueberry ale. Uh, and the description for it is what is it? <laughs> like morning wood and blueberry muffins. <laughs> yeah, those two things go together, <laughs> like morning wood and blueberry muffins. But it's it's delicious. It was awesome. Actually, I'm like, I, I, I grabbed a ballast point real quick when we started. If anybody saw me run off camera, I uh, grabbed one real quick because I hadn't taken a sip yet. And I was like, we're going to talk about our beers first thing. I better get a drink. But uh, no, I'm actually drinking one of his Pitch Blue, too. And it's really fucking good. So I'm super I think glad I'm going to rotate snacking. through maybe a couple of each or something. Yeah, for sure. I would absolutely have that with breakfast. Like, it would go so well with, like. I would have this for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> It says it's got a biscuit malt hey, in Tom. it or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it said. It said it was brewed with a uh, brewed with blueberries and biscuit malts. Yeah. So how can you say no to that, man? It, it's delicious. I mean, if you had bacon, eggs, and that, that is a perfect breakfast. <laughs> that is a perfect. That's a perfect Sunday brunch. Yeah, I take that. I I drink that up for a brunch for sure. Pour it on a fancy little glass and everything. <laughs> yeah. Nice frosty mug. Make it foam at the top. What are you guys drinking tonight? Mm. I know. I know. At least Eric's drinking. Um, there's got to be a couple more, you guys. We always wanted that. We got Lem, Eric, Lynn, Eric, Tom. Yeah. What are you What are you sipping off? Everybody wants to know what Chris got in his hand. I got the Dogfish Head Sea Quench Ale Session Sour. 
It's all right. He's a sour guy. Not very strong for the price. I think it was eleven ninety nine a six pack. <laughs> yeah. It's very lemony. I didn't make it. I got trash pulling. <laughs> then went to tell Jimmy happy birthday at Maggie's and don't remember much. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, he's talking about the uh, Oktoberfest. Okay. I thought yeah. you meant tonight. I was like, oh, all that already? <laughs> like, right away. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. Yeah, right on. You got over this conversation. <laughs> Good old Maggie okay. Mays. So you, you talked this up. You guys had this at a... It's West way better Phoenix. out of draft. Yeah, I can tell that right off. Yeah, the we had it. Uh, what was it's it? Better than this? Yep. Holy yeah. shit! I like this. And I was like, this oh man, you good. can taste lime, and you can absolutely taste that sea salt. Yeah. But, oh man. It was two Thursdays delicious. ago. We had a little bit of a uh, afternoon <laughs> off. Uh, spent a lot of time at the local bar, Speakeasies. Uh, drank a lot of beer. At least I did. I know I drank a lot. Well, here's the thing. I drank yeah. quite I a few work, beers. Like a and uh, if anybody who doesn't know who lives in Salina. Uh, during the weekdays, Monday through Friday, speakeasies. I think it's Friday. It might not be Friday, but at least yeah. Monday through Thursday. I think it's Monday through Friday. No, uh, no Saturday. Yeah, their happy hour is from eleven to six, which is fucking ridiculous. Half price beers. Yeah, I had. A uh, shit and so I had a, like I had a, I had quite a few beers, and then they told me that, and I was like, so everything I just drank was half price. Well, I already planned on spending this much on beer, so I might as well drink. That Double many that. more. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a good time though. But yeah, we tried the dogfish head and it was really, really. I haven't had one of the cans yet. Better out of glass, at least. If not, huh. if not, it's just a tap. It is the first can of the show though. You broke the can, uh-uh. Jerry. Old Chub. Old Chub. Oh, old yeah, chub. we drank the Old Chub. This is number two. Yeah. Which I'm. I, here's the thing. I haven't tasted that yet, but I'm assuming that's better than the Old Chub. This is chub. much better than the Old Chub. Oh, yeah. Like, the Old Chub yeah. was good to me, but, like, I'm assuming this is. Like, <laughs> I, like I don't. I'm not going to go out of my way to, be, like, go into a liquor store now and be like, you guys have Old Chub? <laughs> <laughs> Even as funny as it would be. I don't, this, I think, would pair perfect with, like, chips and salsa. Like, it oh, has yeah. that contrast flavor yeah. that would go so well with it. Or, like, a nice chicken quesadilla or What's something. What's up, Mary? What's up, Amanda? Like, what are you guys oh, doing tonight? Man, it'd be so good. Yeah, anything with a little bit of zest. A little zing to mm-hmm. it. Hell yeah. yeah. See, and that's what... Man, this... With that tartness of that blueberry, it, it almost has kind of a citrusy undertone to me. And I think it's just the tartness hitting my tongue, but, like... There is tartness. I don't get any citrus from it, but... It's good. I, I dig like it. it. Yeah, this I is like, a good beer, like man. both of these. Uh, don't try that ballast point, and uh, I probably won't. To be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. So, okay. like I said, tonight's a, tonight's a chill night. We're, we decided, uh, you know, we talked our brews. We'll talk them a little bit more. But uh, with Tate being gone, we're gonna kind of just chill tonight. Hit some, you know, regular topics. Play some smooth jazz. Play some smooth, smooth, some jazz. smooth jazz. Featuring Henry Johansson on the saxophone. Tate's not here to shit on people, so... <laughs> yeah. All the hate's gone, so be, we're just chill as fuck. Be man. super aggressive about it. <laughs> you guys like those beers? Fuck you! Fuck you They're not real beers. beers. They have fruit flavors. <laughs> Fruits for pussies. <laughs> he's gonna watch this later tonight. You guys are assholes. And then I'm gonna bring up Tate hate. Because uh, he calls me a dick for talking shit on him. Throw this up for fun. Yeah. Sure. Throw it up, man. <clears throat> yeah. That's nope, right. We, uh, we're still fading in and out of different shit. Nope. This week we were like, hey, you know what? We only have three guys. We need to change it up. Why not do... Originally it was supposed to be whatever your favorite beer was, you bring it. And then I think we all went there and it was like, all right, our favorite beers are kind of out. Like, <laughs> at, least, at least for me, for me, I was like, well, fuck, man. Yeah, yours I, is gone, huh? Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to do pumpkin. Nope. I'm going to do the Rubeas from Pat. Nope. <laughs> all right, well, uh, I guess I'm doing something else fruit flavored. And it was this. So I, I like it. I like it. It's a good call. Stick with the fruits. Double down. I like, I like a nice fruity beer. Especially still that it's not, like, once it gets colder, I'm going to want, like, deep... Like coffee, chocolate, stick to your guts type beers, but <laughs> but I dig uh I dig fruity beers, man. I think blueberry, I'm try lemon blue. Beer. Yeah, you should for sure, man. They're good. They're it's real good. good. But so you said hard time coming up with things to talk about. Did any of you guys watch the movie The Babysitter? Yeah, I did. did you guys watch it on Netflix. Netflix. Yeah. yeah. It seems like I did, but I don't know. It was like a really cheap, it was like, like a shitty horror. Intentionally shitty horror. Yeah. 
They like cheese balled it up and stuff like on like purpose. Like spoofy horror. It was it yeah, was I pretty good. It. I think we thought about watching it, but didn't. It's about a kid who has a babysitter, ends up being like some murderer and shit. I mean, that's in, that's in oh. the like that's in like the He's thing. He's like upstairs and she's all hot. Yeah. With yeah. The, uh, with the people, yeah. Okay, yeah, we did watch that. I yeah, think. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, I, it was, I liked it for what it was, man. Yeah, I thought it, it was, was like, a, like bad good. Yeah, like it was like <laughs> spoofy funny, but like it was still like 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 the scary like, movie type. Yeah, yeah, but okay. if like if you if you like gory movies, like it still had like that enthralling oh, you because like it was it. super gory. But yeah. like, I don't know. I thought it was a good movie. It I was. liked it. I want to <laughs> like watch it over and over again by any means. No. I probably will never watch it again, but I'm glad I watched it once, like for sure. It was okay. We watched another one. Uh, God, what's the guy's name? I don't want to say it's Adam something. Whoa. But uh, it was a uh, Little Evil about the kid. Who I haven't seen it like, yet. The Antichrist. It's fucking terrible. Is it really? It, it was not good. Like it's. I was gonna it's watch exactly it. Exactly what you expect from reading the description. You're like, oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Holy shit. See, and that's what I've got. Like now, like Netflix does that like preview thing. Like you scroll over it and you wait for a second, and it gives yeah, you like I a like preview. That. Yeah, it's awesome. Nice. Yeah, it's good as shit. The preview, uh, preview thing, not the beer. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, the beer is good too. Though. The beer is good, but I love it. No, but like, <laughs> we're like, oh wow, yeah, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like the preview thing, like you can pretty much get a basis off what you're watching. Like they actually do hit some pretty ma- like major points on them. So like, I I are usually always based on that. So like you saying that that was really bad that evil thing. I was like, man, I was kind of like. All right, I'll watch this at some point. Like, I wasn't stoked for it, but some of the humor is really good. But there's no like. What's it, up, Molly? It's toted as a scary movie. It's not scary at all. Like, there's nothing scary about it. Really? Yeah. The, some of the humor is very funny. What's up, Jeremy? Like, there's a there's a very butch lesbian who ke- who goes to all the stepdad things. <laughs> and just voted like dad of the year. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so. Molly was with us uh, on that speakeasy night we were talking about. Oh, she here? Yeah, she What's is. up? She joined in. Jeremy's here. Jeremy, what are you drinking, man? You gotta be drinking something. I hope. Nobody else seems to be drinking. I've been asking everybody in there. Just, uh... I yeah, since we were sick all weekend, we watched a shit ton of Shameless on Netflix. I like that show, man. It's fucking... It's messed up. It's it, messed up, but it's, like, addictive. Some of the like, shit that they pull seen, on each other. Have you guys started watching Mindhunter yet? Yes, Sarah was that watching that show last night. Is super good, dude. Mind Hunter. Yeah, it's about uh, like back in the day when they very first started like studying uh, like psychopathic killers as serial killers, and like it like the term didn't even exist yet, and so like it's like way back when they were trying to. It was like right, I, I think that it starts like a month or two after like the the Manson murders. What is that like sixties? 70s? 70s. I was going to say, this is supposed to be like, like 77 or something like that. Yeah, mid late to late 70s. 70s. Uh, and then it goes like, you know, um, kind of how they went to go. Stuff, so. But it's like, even then, like, it's super fucking interesting and like, I don't know. It's, it's addicting, dude. Like Moosehead. A, moosehead? Wait, do you mean mo- moose drool? I was going to say, that's what I was going to say. Yeah, that's what I thought. Like, if there's a moose drool. Are you so drunk you don't know what you're drinking? No, I'm just kidding. What is Moosehead? Who... Is Moosehead the the brewing company? Is that the beer? You got me on noob status, Jeremy. More information. You got to tell me. Yeah, I can't be like, what are you guys drinking? You're like, Moosehead. I'm like, did you kill a moose? And you're drinking his skull liquid? <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Mindhunter, the only complaint that I have about it is the very first episode. Like, you can tell it was a pilot episode just by the dialogue. Like, it was very cut, very... There, there wasn't personality to it at all yet. Like, it was right from the script. But then yeah, it starts it was, to develop. I did think that, uh... Chilling with Neffy. What up, Shane? Man, I didn't even look over him. At, see, okay, so here's something that uh, we've discovered, and uh, hopefully Zuckerberg doesn't, like, kick us off Facebook for talking about this. Um, Fuck him. When you're, when you're going Facebook Live, um, you can only see the name of people who join you if they're on your friends list, which most people, if you're if you're going live on your own Facebook, you don't have a problem because everybody who joins is your friend. But like mm-hmm. us being the four of us, um, we get together here at Chris's house, so we use through his like Facebook connection and stuff. We get on Bruce Bros through that. So anybody who isn't immediately a, a friend of, uh, on Facebook with Chris himself, uh, it doesn't pop up on our main like feed and stuff saying oh they joined. We we see another number pop up, but we don't see any names. So like that's why a lot of times. Uh, Tate and I will be like on our phones trying to see who else is joining um, and everything. But yeah, Shane, what's up, man? How you doing? Are you drinking tonight? What are you drinking? 
It's really weird that they're. Oh, playing. Logan's on. Hey, Logan. What's up, man? See, and that's another one. Finished season one of Mindhunter. Can't wait for season two. I'll have to watch it. Tell me what you're drinking as far as this moose head, man. He did. Uh, Canadian lager, he said. Yep. Oh, right on. Okay. Mindhunter so must be the brewery. Took gotcha. like two days, and then they signed it for another season. And they're like, oh, yeah, it's really, really good. Right. <laughs> well, it's kind of got that, like, ID channel type, like, murder murder documentary type feeling to it. And, like, that's huge right now. So, obviously, it was going to be a big hit. Like, I can't believe they already, already have them for, like, three episodes. Or, like, I, three seasons. I, I'm the nerd in this. I, I love that they give the history on how they developed that. Like, the, the thought process behind oh, getting yeah. this going. I, I could give a shit less about the murders and the killings and serial murders, sequential murders, whatever the fuck right. it is. I don't give a shit. But the fact that you developed a new science based on it, like, how did you develop science? Yeah, well, we did it like this. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. But that that first dude that they they interviewed, that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give it up. That guy's creepy as shit. Yeah, that is creepy as shit. Man, I. Okay, so are you like super far into it? No, like, have I'm you finished it or anything? No. So like the beginning. We're not, we're not going to talk that far into it, because yeah. I give you guys shit that, all this, but like, yeah. the beginning the things, like, I'm pretty sure I know who it is, right? <laughs> like, uh, as far as, especially like, where it's taking place and shit, like, I'm immediately like, red flag. But I didn't realize, and then never mind, okay. Anyways, yeah, it's a good show, you guys should oh, check it out. Oh, yes, a Sam Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. I love Man. those. The, it sucks that they're like, $4 a piece, but they are delicious. Oh my god, just like a chocolate shake. Mmm. God damn it, Jeremy. We were just Pretty talking sure about BTK not doing any spoilers. Not we're like, we're not doing it. And Jeremy's like, dude. God. He's not in jail? What? Well, it showed, like, or just not in jail on the show. Too, which talk hands us. I, mean, I know, do. but I, didn't, you I want people to watch know. it and enjoy it for themselves. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, no, I haven't tried that one, Shane. So, and I was just telling these guys earlier, uh, it's getting colder. I like, like, chocolatey coffee, stick to your ribs beer. So I'm definitely going to try that shit. Oh. I have you tried that, like, what last year or my birthday because i was like it's my birthday beer yeah and you're like oh it's all right it's cool awesome like, and then i probably got really fucking drunk with you and have that's no record true <laughs> that, that's you're like really remember true. on my birthday when we i don't really remember drunk. on my birthday that's why it was a good birthday <laughs> we oh, had mexican food and drunk oh yeah dude yeah. it was some bomb food jason's jason is a chef for sure tate tate oh, hey my baby well, there he is hopefully He's i'll comment on something What's up, man? Are you guys on the train right now? Are you uh, are you viewing from the train? Yes. Are you dr- also, <laughs> we all stop. Like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you? We all just keep quiet. Sorry, we miss our we miss our Fucking fourth. delay. Are you? <laughs> He's probably not even watching yeah. or listening. <laughs> yo yo. Oh, you noob. What? Hit the down arrow and post it yourself. Oh, post it yourself <laughs> and not Bruise Bros. Tate, you suck. That is not so not a Oh, spoiler. he's in Kansas City. You guys haven't left yet. Okay. If anything, it should get more people to watch it. Sure. Okay. I'll give you that, Jamie. I don't know. We, are we good to talk about Game I was of actually... <laughs> I don't know if I've told you guys this before. I was across the street when BTK was uh, arrested. Like, when they fucking really? invaded what? his house in Park City. I was at the fucking, like, Wendy's or whatever. It's across the street. No shit. Yep. That's crazy, They dude. had the whole fucking block, like, caution taped off. Well, it's one of those just things. Traveling through there, like I was on the like, way, right by like that quick trip in the the Wendy's there. Yeah, yep. he That's was crazy. like a few houses down across the street from that Wendy's, I think. Dude, and I can't tell you like when I lived in Wichita, how many times like like coming home to visit or whatever like that, like how many times I stopped right there and like wow. you're like, holy shit, you were like that close to like a known serial killer, yep. like you know, been in small in like living in Kansas, you think you're like safe you. from it, but yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, he could have been getting gas, pumping gas, like, right next to me. I wouldn't have fucking known. What's yeah. nuts is all those things that there's, like, well, there's, like, 50 serial killers in the United States at any given point in time that aren't being tracked or followed because there's not enough data. Like, yeah, it's not creepy. It's not, <laughs> it's not totally fucked up. Yeah. So, Tate, what time does your, uh, <laughs> your <laughs> family, brother? <Fries. laughs> yes. And then you dip the fries in the frosting. Yes. That's how you do it. I probably That's did. the only way to do it. Mm. <laughs> Fuck, that was a long time ago. He's hey, what's up, Sydney? <laughs> Man, <fucking> penal <laughs> system. <laughs> Sydney, when, when's the last time you got on here? I feel like it's been forever since we've seen you. No, she's been popping in every week, but it has been fairly late the last few weeks. Yeah. But 
Wasn't she? Oh wait, Sydney got a new job. Uh, I saw on Facebook she posted she got uh, a new job. Great, right. I knew she was applying. That's what I was yeah. just going to ask. I, I knew she awesome. got to like round round two of the interview process. Yeah, so I, I saw she... someone on Facebook. Yeah, she said congrats. she got it. So hell yeah, congrats, long time viewer. Everybody got a beer? Let's cheers to that. Cheers. She, Sydney's been around for a long time. Tate, she since he's watching, you don't get a cheers. Fuck you. Yeah, you get Tate hit, bitch. Yeah, oh, fuck off. All <laughs> Tate couldn't even be here. You, you'd rather be in KC? Really? What's in KC? Are you hanging out with Brad? Is that what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> Logan's in KC. Is that why Is that why Logan's watching? You're hanging out with Logan? Oh, you guys are conspiring against us. <laughs> they're gonna, they're gonna it. start their own. It's gonna be like... Start my own show. Dos Blackjack. Bro dos Bro Hachos and Eki. <laughs> Speaking of Logan, him and Ashley are coming this oh, weekend. Oh, different Logan. Different Logan. Oh. Different yeah. Logan. Yeah. No, but uh, yeah. Logan's in Wichita, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. My bad. Yeah, speaking of, you want to uh, swap us over to the... Ooh, yeah, pub you, crawl. Yeah, pub crawl. Pub crawl. Pub crawl uh, photo oh, up. what? I, I thought you had the picture. Oh, no. That's good. We can we can talk about it here in the beautiful oasis. That it was all janky. We got shipped to. Look at this beautiful oasis that Chris put us in. So, nice. pub crawl, I think we decided we are going to start it right at four. Uh, yeah. I was talking with Chris earlier. Usually we start at Rob so route. And we work down the one side and then come back around to the other yeah, side. Sounds good. And it look, end at Blue Sky. But he was saying he wants to end at Santa Cruz. So is it going to go Blue Sky, Santa Cruz? Or back and forth? We'll see what everybody's feeling on yeah. Saturday. Right. But so rendezvous that, starting point regardless. Yes. And yeah. see what like a group vote wants to do or something. Rendezvous, I think for the most part, I think for the most part, we're all going to get our shirts and stuff the night before. Um, if we don't do the down and back, we could down and zigzag yeah. to Santa Cruz. Let's say from like, like works. let's say from four to like the first 20, 30 minutes, we'll stay at Rendezvous, we'll like meet, maybe meet outside on that back patio so yeah. long as it's not like super cold. It's supposed to be really nice. It's supposed to be 51 on Saturday, yeah. the high. It's supposed the to be high? nice. The high is Damn. 51, yeah. So maybe a long sleeve, maybe get yeah. a little thermal in. Yeah. yeah. But, Perfect yeah, we're gonna be, We're all gonna meet at Rendezvous. Anybody who wants to join our posse, like we want to get like a big group together. That'd be Roll badass. Deep. For sure. Roll deep. deep. If my wife's on here, dress warm so I don't have to hear you bitching about being cold. <laughs> <laughs> Giving up my hoodie and shit. Everybody dress warm so we don't have to hear. I think I was bitching. freezing last year because I had right. to give up my hoodie. Like, but yeah, so Rendezvous. Yeah. Walking from we're gonna say, frozen or We're something. gonna say Rendezvous from like four. So like we're gonna say maybe four thirty if we if we get a big crowd and we're, or nobody starts showing up we'll probably roll out like fifteen twenty minutes in something like that but like show up around four four thirty uh, and we'll post uh, on the Snapchat we'll post on Facebook where we're at throughout the night if you guys want to join us later maybe you got to work or something like that yeah we want to um, mob together yeah we want everybody to hang out like if especially if you don't to. have anybody to go with like join us man we're gonna have a good time we always have a good time the quicker you get there too. Before, eh, while I'm getting drunk, the better chance you have of me buying you a drink before I'm out of money. <laughs> That's what happens. I get two drinks in, and I'm like, shots! Who's doing them? All right. Okay. How, how, those were good? More shots. Let's do this. Yeah, we always have a blast, and we know we know our, our people are good people, so come hang with us. Bar three, and I'm out of all my money. I'm like, Sarah, Sarah. Have some of your money? <laughs> Have some of your drinks? Sarah. I'll say normally we end up at Blue Sky <laughs> getting food. But we can also end up, at, and end up at Santa Cruz. I mean, once I get drunk, I don't really care. I just want some food. Oh, yeah. man. A giant burrito <laughs> does sound good, though. Oh. That and it ends at 8, so it's perfect It's perfect burrito time. All right, perfect so perfect burrito. talking about drunken food, and and I thought about this on the way over here even too I was like man I can't wait till cast is over no I can't wait till cast but like as soon as cast is over I know what I'm doing is it ponchos because that's what I'm it's doing it's not ponchos what and, I mean if we go to ponchos I'll go to ponchos with you guys okay. for sure I'll but if ponchos no on the way home yeah, if nobody if nobody's <laughs> going to ponchos tonight <laughs> oh, after cast uh, <laughs> this was a couple casts back I did like afterwards since we live right next to it the Sonic that's up the way here mm -hmm. I went there and I got just a cheeseburger with just pickles pickle cheeseburger man Holy shit! I'm like addicted to those now. I don't know what it is like. They don't and like they they make good cheeseburgers. I'll give them that. But like just yeah. just cheese pickle <laughs> burger bun. I've been eating those things like their burgers are style, better dude. than their like chicken strip things. I like Bogey's burgers. If I have to get a burger somewhere in town and it's oh, a yeah. quick place, we I got one bogey. just uh, this weekend and oh. I got a, but I got a pickle cheeseburger. 
Well, that's my thing right now. I don't know what it is, man. I'm like I'm like a pregnant woman or something. I like any you time like we're out, anyway. Yeah, I'm like pickle cheeseburger. Give it to me. Let's do this. Uh, I'm gonna start judging places by how good their fucking. And they leave the peasant cheese. sauce off for you. No ketchup. No. Nope. <laughs> Even I before like, then, I like I'd, pickles by themselves. I would. Themselves. Yeah. I any any right. time I'd get a hamburger or a cheeseburger anywhere, even before this whole little craze of mine, I don't do t- uh, ketchup, and I normally don't do tomato, and only because. <laughs> Tomatoes are super easy to get food poisoning for if they're not prepped right. That, and they're just really most tomatoes for burgers. Yeah. Just, they taste kind of terrible. They just taste really watery and mushy. Like they don't have a lot of flavor. Right. And I'm not saying yeah. I'm not saying anybody like in town. I'm not saying like don't go to a certain restaurant because their tomatoes will make you sick. What I'm saying is like as an overall, just because they're such like a porous and they're already sliced and everything like that, like like a simple fucking mistake can make a tomato go bad and you can get fucking food poisoning from it. Like, real quick. And so, like, I just don't mess with it. It's funny that you're talking about food poisoning and Sonic. And of, like, the three <laughs> terrible stories I have from food, two of them are Sonic. So really? Like, yeah. That's I, crazy. I, I, didn't I tell you that? No, I, yeah, I you did. I thought we talked you about told, that here on stream. Yeah, you've told me that. Where I was like, that motherfucker was licking his fingers and peeling cheese to put oh. it on shit. Oh. The, well, <laughs> the third one was A&W? Yeah. 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 <laughs> That cracks me up, dude. Cause Sonic like, pissed me off the other night because we went to get, I uh, went and picked up my mom and uh, Julie some blasts because they were fucking craving ice cream like they always do. <laughs> they wanted a chocolate Oreo and a chocolate peanut butter cup. Mm-hmm. So you put peanut butter cup and chocolate ice cream and blend it up, right? Right. No. They bring it out with vanilla ice cream with like a tiny bit of chocolate syrup blended up in it to make it almost chocolate. And I'm like, I said chocolate ice cream and like fucking handed it back to them. They went and made more, brought them out, and they just put like a little bit more chocolate syrup in them again instead of fucking chocolate ice cream. You know what it was? <laughs> uh, you know <laughs> what it does? They, and... Yeah. You know what they did though? They McDonald's your ass. Then the ice cream machine was already down. They probably already closed down the chocolate the fucking side. Same one and they were trying to fucking had. like throw you some vanilla in replacement. Dude, that makes me mad. That makes me mad as shit. Dude. Like I've worked fast food and I've seen it happen, but it's like. Man, you're supposed to be open until this point. Like, you better have your menu that you're supposed to have. Like, that it makes sense. It was me Friday night, too. Like, they're all in there just bullshitting and having fun, right. you know, high school kids. Well, and, the, and that's the other thing, too. What are you going to expect when you get, you know, six 18 year olds running a fucking place? And Yeah. I want to get out of here right at close. Right. Yeah, right at close. <laughs> so, like, half their shit. Oh, sorry, it's broken. You ever, I've heard that a hundred times. It's broken. <laughs> uh, back in Abilene, the fucking I didn't give a fuck the Sonic. It, was uh, my, it wasn't my ice cream, but right. I had hurts, and they're like, "Ah, fix it." Right. <laughs> you know? The Sonic, the Sonic in Abilene, man. Like back in the day, and if Shane, if you're still on, he can attest to this. I'm sure. Like it'd be like two hours before they close, and the slushy machine broke again. It <laughs> always fucking broke, like super early. But it was fine if you went during the daytime. It was always fucking up and running. Yeah, man. Shit. When I worked at Dairy Queen on the North End. Back in high school, we would never do people dirty like that. We would have right. everything clean, ready to go. Somebody pulling at one till and hit that drive through. We'd have to fucking make them whatever they wanted. Right. But you already got it prepped enough to where you could just clean that spot and absolutely. check out, you know. Oh, yeah. I don't, don't get me wrong. Like, absolutely prep your shit. Get out as soon as you can, but don't fuck over customers for it. But mm-hmm. It's a different time. <laughs> Oh man, I can't! I can't wait to pub crawl. I'm super excited, excited to be out of work, excited to hang out, chill, have some brews. I'm gonna set a reminder to grab the selfie stick, <laughs> so I don't forget it. So oh yeah, for sure, man. Get a bounce from place to place. You hear that, people? Selfie yeah, stick. Yeah. I know you want part yeah, of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know you want to be in that selfie with the stick. So just show <laughs> up and hang out with us. I know you want to. It gets fucking packed though too, so yeah. Try to oh, try yeah. to stick close to your group. If you're with us as our group, sit close, whatever it is. But yeah, it's gonna get wild and crazy. Be careful. Be careful. We like we like to have a stay cool time. and watch your drinks so you don't get roofied because people are fucking nuts. Has that happened here at all? I haven't heard anything about that. I swear, Luke might have been roofied a couple years back. Because he didn't roofie to drink so. that much. No, it was like two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. They dude. like found him in someone else's vehicle or something, and the guy oh. like drove him home instead of whooping his ass. Or it was, no, it was like it was like only a few hours in. It wasn't like it was he maybe had not, nine o'clock, like just getting dark or something. It, he hadn't Jeez. been drinking that much at all. Yeah, it was nuts. <clears throat> but I think we were but out, anymore too, we were man. Like people are sketchy. Was like gone. 
Like, people are sketchy, you know? And especially it's, somebody who's going to do shit like this. And especially like, if you're a female. Like, I couldn't imagine trying to drink at a bar being a female. I'd be watching every drink like a hawk. Like, I didn't see that one made make me another one. Right, that's yeah. Crazy. And I was going to say, that's what they say, that's too. Like, even shit. even watch your bartender. I'm not saying any of the bartenders downtown Salina are going to be like that. Right. But you don't. You also don't fucking know. Mm-hmm. You Some know? random guy at the bar could... I, I mean, I, I know a lot of bartenders downtown, and I would vouch for each of them. Like, none of them are going to fucking do that. But I don't know every bartender downtown. Mm-hmm. Or if they, you know, brought somebody on because they were super busy during pub crawl. Yeah. So they brought somebody in. You know, There's I don't know. There's just some creepy people out there. Yeah, watch your drinks, man. Well, it's a smart thing to do. Because what, what's the worst that's going to happen? Like, you're going to get a good drink out of it? Like, <laughs> you know? It's hard to, just, it's hard to do, I, I guess, once you get drunker, though. Like, today at work or something. Because I was thinking about pub crawl. I'm like, yeah, maybe we should... Tell people watch your fucking back. That and if <laughs> watch no it. Like, to, tell people watch the back because we're coming. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to Blue Sky, but don't hold your expectations high for that day. If you're ordering food, expect forty minutes. Yeah. If you're ordering drinks, everybody's ordering food. Expect man. forty minutes. Uh, I mean, every time we we go there, and by the time we get there, it, we're we're drunk. We're we're good and drunk. And then I sit down and I'm like. It's been six minutes. Why aren't all five of my pizzas done? <laughs> but no, I mean, I, I have to hand it to them. They handle it as best as they can. They have to open up that side room. There's a lot of shit going on. But do keep that in mind, too. And uh, Also, anybody who's going out, if you're going with us, anytime that you can stop and get some water or something to eat or something to soak up some of that booze, right. especially if you're doing the whole marathon, I mean... It's a marathon. It's not a sprint. You get where you're going, but you've got to take your precautions. You got to do your stuff too. You know, you want to have fun. You don't want to be sick. I will I mean, say that uh, I myself, I can't speak for both of these guys, but like you said, marathon, not a fucking sprint. Like, I'm, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna be a dick, but like, I'm not gonna fucking take every shot. I'm not. You know, I, like I want to slow. I want to last throughout the night. I don't want to be <laughs> smashed in the first two hours and, like, have to go home kind of thing. Like, So that's how I am. I, like I said, I'm not going to speak for these he guys. He says but. that now, but he knows I'll carry him home if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know my boys will take care of me, but I don't want them to have to do it at, I'll like, fucking 6 o'clock planner, at night. And then I'll show it yeah. on this. I don't want them to have to do it at 6 o'clock at night is all I'm saying. Uh, I have seen, uh, too, uh, if you guys get on the Facebook page uh, for the zombie crawl, they have the <laughs> phone number on there. I don't remember what taxi service it is, but up till like, 9 o'clock, they're giving free taxis. So, like, absolutely do that instead of driving. Oh. A hundred times. I love that on your times. shirts, too. They always put the number on there. They Isn't put it, it upside down so that you can read yeah. it if you're drunk. A25 ride. <laughs> I think it's A25 ride. We usually no do best cab. You know what? I'm going to look that up. Actually. Uber. Why Just Uber. And then I'm going to pay my Uber driver to bring me ponchos. <laughs> Uber's more expensive, but it is safer. Uh, normally, you can get a better turnaround time, too, mm. for an Uber. I like Best Cab because uh, I know like a couple of drivers from getting drove home so much. <laughs> <laughs> For real, we got picked up. Oh, uh, fuck! Two Saturdays ago or something like from our guy. Uh, I'm not gonna say his name, but his, he picks us up. And he's like, "Oh, hey, what's up, man? I remember you." And turns out his like wife passed away. Two weeks prior to that, and he's like, yeah, man, like, telling us all about it. He's like, all crushed. I could tell he was acting weird. <clears throat> yeah, it's fucked up. This says, uh, Sunflower Taxi is giving the free cab rides. Uh, uh, their number is 785-826-1881. 785-826-1881. So if it's not on the shirts this year, which it has been in the past, uh, if it's not, uh, get on their Facebook. It's on there. Also, it's Sunflower Ooh. Taxi. Just look it up on anything you can. Um, but give them a call. I think it's like till nine o'clock or something like that. It doesn't say on here, but like, um, always getting a free ride home versus trying to drive yourself is a good fucking idea. Cause, uh, driving drunk is going to get you arrested. It's going to hurt somebody. going to hurt yourself. Like it's fucking stupid. So don't do it. Yep. <clears throat> That's the end. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> you know, I, I am kind of, McGruff. I've seen a couple bars already start posting their drink specials and stuff for, for the night. One of them is big nose. And I do have to say. I'm extremely disappointed. Really? Yeah. It's $3 pounders. I'm like, that's the same price as your normal day pounder. Yeah. How is that a special? It's That's garbage. what they're posting as their yeah. special for this? Yeah. 
I, I'm sure that usually they do like a uh, dollar, dollar fifty jello shots too for a little while until they're all gone. Isn't but the pigs pounders like two dollars on Thursdays? Yeah. yeah. And Paramounts is two fifty. Yeah. All the time. Yeah, you'd think. I don't know. Uh, I don't think they would I go there. <laughs> make the deals a lot better, but it's like you could not buy the shirt and still be fine. Will yeah. they drive me to Tescott? Probably. For I don't know. That's a good question. I mean, it's Sunflower Taxi, <laughs> I'm sure. Probably not for free. It's probably like within Saline County. Yeah, I'm sure it's within Salina City Bounds. But it's a good question. And hello, Molly. I didn't know you were here. Yep, Molly's still on. I'll we got a couple others. Friend you on Facebook. But <clears throat> no, that's the only thing. That's the only complaint that I've had. It's always like two places are doing awesome deals. And then like four places are doing okay deals. Like what their normal like during the week deal would be on that day. And then two places are always like, yeah, I'm going to fuck everybody. They're going to yeah. be drunk. Right. And I, well, I don't like appreciate Well, it's like they jacked that. up the prices for the pub crawl, and then your special is getting the regular price. Like, we'll give you the regular price where everybody else spends way more. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's what we were talking about when we first started doing this. I was like, man, I've been disappointed, but, like, I really want to do it. I really want to get a bunch of people together. But, yeah, it seems to be it seems to be the norm. As Like you said, a couple of the bars, they're just like, well... We're going to say this is our deal, and that's it. But, like, especially that it's not even, like, zombie pub crawl related. That kind of disappoints me that mm-hmm. Pounders are the fucking... It's all right. Whatever. Well, what was it? I can't... It wasn't uh, zombie crawl last year. It was the St. Patty's crawl. There were five bars that their special was. Coors Light, yeah. uh, Keystone, or... I want to... Wasn't Bud Light? What's what's the other one that's Natty Light? Throwing, probably Natty Light, uh, thrown in there, and it was all like at cost, like normal cost was the special. And I was like five fucking places the same thing. If I wanted to just drink Coors Light all day, I'd stay at home. Yeah, right. <laughs> but right. and drink twenty of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Still save myself eighty bucks. Right. But no, it's a, it's a good time. It's just yeah. Watch watch out for those things. Also. Any place that's serving Jello shots, buy them all. So just go in there, ask them how many they have left. If they say a hundred, you buy all one hundred, and then you turn around and you start selling them for twice their cost, and they'll still fly right out of your fucking. Head. That's not a bad idea. Because <laughs> why aren't comments showing up to the side? Yeah, I don't know. It's the same thing with mine too. Weird. Yeah, I was just checking that out. But we were to too... changing our shit. Oh, what? Uh, last year, Tate's wife went with us. And we went to Big Nose. We bought them all out of Jello shots. Then we went to Santa Cruz. Bought them all out of Jello shots. And then who went? Oh no! Uh, went to Blue Sky. And Blue Sky had like it was like a like a three piece deal. It was like a pot of gold. Oh yeah, like I remember that. that. It was like a drink, a Jello shot, and then something else for like a shot, like yeah. a regular shot or something. Yeah, I remember that. And uh, bought them all out of Jello shots. And I was like, man. We drink all these. We should have sold them. We definitely should have sold them. <laughs> uh, it's like, hey, bring them on trays so that when I go to walk around and sell them to people for like two bucks a piece, like <laughs> I don't have to get, carry them all in my hand. Yeah, I don't remember a ton from the crawls. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good time, man. Like I said, we always have a blast. So anybody who wants to join, I do it. Molly, after big nose. I think you're still on here. <laughs> she was saying she wants to join us, and I told her she fucking better. Like who? Molly. Yeah. Anybody is more than welcome. Oh, man. We, we're not the haters. This is the safe group right here. This uh, The haters gone right this now. This is good. It just doesn't go down very quick. Unless it's just Oh, yeah. It's not like a, I, I wouldn't ever like try to chug one of those oh, for man. sure. It's, it's, I mean, it's got some robust like heaviness to it. It's definitely with a meal drink. It's Yeah. It's absolutely like a with a meal. You know what? This and is probably has, go- oh, go ahead. It has that same taste of that porter did like same body i think mm. right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah blueberry yeah. instead of peanut butter i got you i think that's the only beer that i've ever drank that i would have with dairy i would absolutely have that with some ice cream or i would oh, use I that in like that. a like a for a float <laughs> some vanilla <laughs> oh my god that'd be crazy just a little bit of vanilla one? ice cream on top uh can i get one of these the pitch blue, pitch blue? yep 
I'm not used to being beer bitch. Tate. Yeah, where the fuck are you at? That's what, actually I was thinking about that earlier. I was like, man, <laughs> do our, your beer, job. our beer guy's not here. <laughs> How are we going to ever get beers out of the fridge? Jedi mind powers. Jedi mind I'll powers. Try. Anybody who's drinking tonight, always let us know or just give a shout out. Everybody say, hey, if you're on cast oh, right now, oh, you're watching oh, us, oh. give a quick, uh, you know what, just because Tate's not here, let's give a, a hashtag Tate hate. Because we love that guy. Oh, yeah. Hashtag Tate hate if you guys are, are viewing right now. Because like I said, we can't always uh, see who's on. Uh, the joinings are kind of random as far as what we can see. And we want to know who's here. We want to know who's hanging out with us. I do have to say, if anybody who owns or works at Santa Cruz is watching, hook us up on Pub crawl, please. <laughs> just please. I, I'm not asking for like a burrito, but man, some chips. You, you do me a solid. I'm just saying, late, in, late enough into the night, dude. I just I'd take buy a you bowl a of rice. I'd, give me some rice, man. Let me chow down on the, some of that little salt and pepper. Mm, One, I think it was the first year that they did the zombie crawl. Uh, Santa Cruz was participating, Whoa. and they did on that back bar that they have. It was all chips and salsa. It was free. And I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. This really? is the best. Like it was, nuts. It was awesome, but they haven't done it since. What'd you grab? You grab one of the uh, <laughs> stouts? What do you think of that? It's got some kick. Sarah I mean, Tate on Tate. Hell but yeah, there we go. That's why What's I up, love Sarah? you, Sarah. It's because you hate Tate. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a heavy lager, kind of. Oh, but yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's got some robust like Ooh. kick to it. This is this is like stews and stouts stouts man. Oh no, God, don't do that. Hey, what's up, Mary? Mary? Are you still with us? What's up? Are you drinking tonight? Are you drinking uh, Coronas? You're drinking or uh, Heineken? Heineken's. Oh, drinking the, Heineken's the other day tonight. she was drinking Coors Light. I, I feel like I rub off on people. Like if I leave enough <laughs> Coors in my fridge, eventually somebody's gonna drink it, <laughs> and then they'll like it. <laughs> Mary, uh, cheap compared to Heineken. Uh, uh, Heineken Chris play. play. Chris plays in a group online, uh, D and D, with a bunch of people. And Jason and I recently started, I think we talked about this a couple episodes back, started a D&D campaign. Uh, and Mary is one of the, uh, one of the companions on what, the journey. What class are you playing, Mary? You guys can answer it too if you want. Okay. <laughs> I was like, well, she, oh, uh, she she's might a leave ranger. or she's, doing ranger. she's a ranger? Genesee ranger. Yeah. Uh, water Genesee ranger. Yep. Yeah. It's funny because, uh, ranger, any, I don't know if anybody else knows Mary, I don't know. Druid. Rogue. Rogue. Yeah. Rogue with crossbows. Yeah. And then we have a cleric. Jason's wife, Sarah, is also. Yeah, I didn't even say that. Sorry, Sarah. I know she's watching. She's like, she's God, like, dick. Is she like healer spec? Or <laughs> so she should be. Kind of just. <laughs> no offense to her. Like buffs and debuffs type Supposed shit. Supposed to be. Oh, no drinking for All Mary she's tonight. done so far, Man. shield, crossbow. That's it. That's the whole game for her. She tried to use spells last year. Shield, crossbow. She did. That's pretty unorthodox. She, she tries Usually to Usually I have like a warhammer, you yeah. know? Or Something a base. Yeah, but no. nothing wrong with that though. For the most part, I will say this: everybody's kind of a distance fighter, and I just run at everything. <laughs> That's how it's going so far. I know. I remember the crypt. <laughs> <laughs> and you had to fight those ball bearings. I was telling him you're finally starting to embrace the ball bearings. <laughs> it's working well. I'm just like, at least let me get past them and then throw them down behind me if that's what you want to do. Just let me stay in one spot, and then you chuck them down the yeah. hall. <laughs> I don't want to fight them at all. Yeah. 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 See, I added Molly as a friend, and it popped up. So that's definitely yeah what Facebook's doing. Gosh and darn I, Facebook! You would think it would collectively yeah take our or anybody who joined. You think it would just pop up with their name? Yeah. Because especially like it, cause whoever we, can manage the page, it should collectively like we're them. we're we're pretty good about we make sure that we tag the breweries that we're drinking. Uh, we tag some different stuff so that people, even if they're not following us already as Bruise Bro Bros, they. They see, oh, this, uh, you know, this brewery was tagged in so and so. They yeah. see that on their Facebook, and they can click on it. But without them being our friends, we've discovered like we can see them as a number up in the like top left hand. If you guys see that up there, that says how many are viewing at any time, like give or take one or two, uh, depending on lag and stuff. But like, um, if they're not our friend, yeah. then we can't see that they've joined by Is the it? name. That do they see up. that? What when they watch? The live thing? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think so. Oh, shit. Yeah, anybody can see that. Uh, they can see the live, the, oh, the duration, us. and they can play the number. <laughs> no, they can see I all that. I thought they saw this shit. <laughs> no, I think they can see who's viewing as well, better oh, than we cool. can. But what's crazy is Dogfish Head being like 418,000 likes or followers, you'd think some other people would be popping in randomly, too. Oh, what? Whatever. 
but yeah. I say I say we get a pretty good turnout. So I was telling him I like the Q A Q and A stuff that we've been doing. Yeah. But oh. we didn't have new Q and A. So I said I had a question for you guys. Okay. And it actually comes back to this drink and something I talked about earlier. What is the best food and beer combination you've ever had together? Ooh. Man. It may not it you know what? I I'm gonna say it doesn't even have to be limited to that. Food and alcoholic beverage combination. Okay. I can food and uh, alcohol that makes it quite a bit easier, I think. I enjoy when I go to Holisco's, which is my favorite restaurant in town, just to get a simple quesadilla because I'm a picky motherfucker. <laughs> get some chips and salsa and a Dos Equis. Amber. I like a big ass Dos Equis with my Mexican food. That's pretty uh, simple. I'm going to say... Uh, put the lime in it. Ooh. I'm going to put straight, simple, like even... And I don't even necessarily think it matters where it's from for the most part. But like... Tacos and a Negro Modelo, man. Like, I could do that <laughs> any day of the week. And I think, like, that's why I'm going to say that. Like, I've probably had, like, at one time, I've had, like, a steak with a really good beer. But, like, the fact that I know, like, right now, if you were like, hey, you want to do, like, tacos and Negro Modelos? I'd be like, all fucking day. <laughs> Modelo Especial? Yeah. I don't, I don't like, I don't like Modelo Especial that much. I, I, tons of people love the Especial over the Negro. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I mean, like, it's not bad, but I don't like it that much. Uh, I will have a Negro okay Modelo, either, like, but any day of the week. Yeah. I also like a Jack and Coke with some, like, like a steak and mashed potatoes. Oh, like, yeah. Just, like, like pure American-made. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Kansas I can this fucking meal. <laughs> I do, like, I, I would probably do, like, a Captain and Coke with my steak and mashed potatoes, but I'm a rum guy. What do you got? I used to be until I just, like, kept Captain Morgan alive. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in my early 20s. I, I mean, this is hard. I'm a huge fan of a really, really good uh, margarita with Mexican food. But I feel like that's, margarita Mexican food's kind of cop out. So Not really. That was going to be my other choice. I just don't like how sour they are. And yeah. I like sour shit. That's why I said a good one, because a lot of those they just use a shitload of mix. Yeah, and, it just, and that it, makes them taste oh like shit. God, tastes like, tastes like, like half a, a shot of tequila. That's why mix. I miss uh, what was it, uh, cojitos? Oh. cojitos? That was over there by the Dillons. Yep, that place, dude. Their uh, their steak burrito. Their food was amazingly good, and their margaritas. They were already strong, but we would always order a margarita and a shot of tequila, and then you drink down the margarita a little bit and put that extra shot in there. Oh, dude, you talk about a good margarita. <laughs> That's, that was the way to always do it, man. Huh. When El Asheron was way out north in what was, I think it was the old Ramada, one of the ladies who managed it and may have partially owned it, uh, when we'd order that, we'd get the strongest fucking <laughs> margaritas. And she, she was so great. Isidra, she works now at uh, Jalisco. She, she worked Short, at, older lady. Yep. Nice as hell. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So she uh, she worked originally at Los Patrios, went out to El Acerón, and that's actually what made us go to El Acerón in the first place, is whenever they opened up out there, we saw an ad in the paper, and we wondered where she went from Los Patrios, because we knew they changed ownership, but it was her, and she was in that picture, and we are like, we're going to go out there. She remembered us. The food that we used to order at Los Patrios, they didn't have at El Acerón. She's like, I'll, I'll make the chefs make it for you. And I was like, no fucking way. She did. And they made, they made my wife pollo yeah, bandito. Yeah, she's awesome. And they made me Santa Fe chicken. And then every time we'd sit down, they, she'd, okay, great. I'm going to bring you chips, salsa. Here's your drinks. Also, here's cheese, because I know that that's what you're ordering. Mm -hmm. And she was great about it. She was great, super quick. It's awesome. And then they got rebought out whenever they moved downtown. Yeah. And you saying that, though, like that, like, especially like I was thinking about it, I was like, man, some of the, probably the best service I've ever had at any restaurant overall has always been like a Mexican restaurant. Were they better out there than downtown, though? Because oh, their service downtown was horrible. Yeah, they were so much better. They, they were under never different keep ownership. Up. Yeah, yeah they, 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 they got it. It was different owners. And this different must be different owners, too, then, huh? Yeah. At Jalisco? I, I would imagine. Because it's, it's like complete fucking opposite. They'll have your food out in like fucking eight minutes <clears throat> compared to 48 and get it fucked up. That, that one time we went there, and I'd ordered food, and I thought they were bringing more chips and salsa. And it was actually they were bringing the fucking food, and it was like, 
four minutes later, I was like, yeah, I, dude. I don't even want this yet. Like, take yeah. it back. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it some more food. <laughs> then bring it to me. He's like, yeah. fuck like, off with this. Yeah, they don't yeah, fuck what? around here. Like, trying to kick you the fuck out almost. Oh, like, what man. the hell? I love it. We were trying to go Friday, Thursday or Friday, I can't remember. And it, the parking lot was packed. It was like 6.30. Jeez. So we went to Wild Wings, and it was okay. Yeah, I've, I haven't had awesome experiences there for a while. Uh, it's now. just... Yeah. I know you fucking nerds. It's like, so not expensive about it for what you get. Like, yeah. fucking $15 for maybe seven wings. Yeah, I'd rather wait till... Fries. What is it? Speakeasies? Is it Thursdays? Or Tuesdays? What is it? Tuesday nights, they have their 50-cent wings or something like that? I, I know it's not every Tuesday. It used Legends to be, like, every Wednesday. Legends has cents on Wednesdays. Who has it? Legends. Oh, I mean, that's what I was thinking. How are they're wings? good. Oh, maybe we should. I've heard they had good wings. Oh, they got they got some bit bit of heat to them too. On wings, on what night? Damn it! On Wednesdays, (laughs) I'm not going. But I'm I'm trying to switch to like Monday, Friday, or Monday. On Wednesday nights, they have fifty cent wings. Yeah, yeah. All right, so Brew Bros might be at Legends tomorrow. (laughs) (laughs) Brutal, because after cast and like Monday, I'm fucking wore out. Right. I'm beat right now. <laughs> yeah. We were all saying right before this, we're like, God, we're fucking tired, man. Maybe it's a change in the weather. I, don't know. I, I know, know he's so. been doing jujitsu and stuff, too. He joined Tate uh, at their gym, and he's been working out with him, uh, doing some rolling and stuff like that. So Getting my ass whooped. I'm sure he's bit, tired and sore, but... Two hours of ass whooping. <laughs> oh, man. Now I want wings. Like, I can taste that tangy just in my mouth. Oh. Like last week, oh, man. Thank you, Sarah. You didn't listen to me. Which made you great last week. I, I said, <laughs> only thing I had half price wings, buy me wings at Speaks. And she bought me the hottest wings, which are what slapped her mama wings or whatever they were. And uh, I got finished drinking beer. I was like, oh man. Uh, I, she, she'd already told me that they weren't on special. And she's like, I bought you wings. And I was like, oh God, yes. Oh God, yes. I've never wanted this more. <laughs> maybe the that, hottest maybe that's wings? I don't yeah. know about that. Yeah, see, and I don't the do super, super they, spicy they either. Offer. Oh, I, I love, love spicy. I guess I'm a big puss. I can't, I can't do it, I man. used to try, like, the... You got hot, and then they're, like, one or two above. Mm-hmm. I like uh, Taco Mac and Wild Wings. But nowadays, I can go with the, just buffalo or medium. Like, to where my nose just starts running when I'm about done eating. Oh, I don't want to fucking sit there and be wiping my shit. And crying. <laughs> yeah. and shit. See, that's oh. my thing, man. I love food way too fucking much. Fucking trying to breathe. <sighs> <laughs> I love food way too much. I don't want it to be a painful experience. Yeah, it hurts. I want to. <laughs> and that's just how I'm in, man. I know. And people like their spicy. That's cool. Right? My dad, my dad's all about, like, if I go anywhere, uh, like when we went to Costa Rica, mm-hmm. when I was down there, I picked him up, like, the spiciest fucking uh, hot sauce, salsas that I could find and brought that back. Like, that's what I gave him as a gift as far as, like, the whole, mm-hmm. like, he's all about hot, spicy, burn your tongue, make you cry shit. And I'm like, love it. I didn't get anything from you as far as taste buds because, uh-huh. like, I can't. I just don't do it. Just, ah. It makes me wonder if some people's taste buds are like more dead or just uh, more powerful and can succumb to that heat better than others. <laughs> I always think it's funny. Like my kid, <coughs> she's fine with jalapeno heat and everything. So she'll eat something and she's like, oh, this is really good. And then somebody else is like, oh, it's so hot. <laughs> Especially Sarah's mom. I hope Joyce isn't watching because I'm going to make fun of her. <laughs> but, uh, like, there are times where she's like, this ketchup is really spicy. Like, she's she's all about, like, it's too hot. It's too hot. And you're like, Joyce, it's uh, it's salt. There's <laughs> no way that's spicy. <laughs> and just my kid's like, oh, man, can I, get, can I get more of that on this? And she's like, oh, I can't eat it. I can't eat it. <laughs> Some of that ketchup where it looks textured from all the salt <laughs> instead of being nice and smooth oh man that's like when we were in uh we were at uh golden q she like warned us or whatever that the ketchup there was spicy or whatever she's like that's spicy ketchup golden q and Hayes, we got those burgers oh yeah yeah at the pool hall yep yeah you speaking of spicy ketchup that's one of the things uh in my fridge i have sriracha ketchup that i made and it's in the back of the fridge and i peeled <laughs> the label off that way people don't Silly fucking grandma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. A few years ago, we made pickles. And we still got some of that stuff. But, I mean, and some of those were the habanero in here, ghost pepper in here, Fuck that, this in man. here. And, nope. man, there were some of them, like, it, they were so fucking hot to eat. Delicious, though. Fucking delicious. This guy is so into spicy. 
him and his wife now, like, they're into uh, tomato beers, whatever you want to call them. Oh, yeah, the uh, this, chiladas. Yeah, he has chiladas. fucking uh, sriracha salt in, like, a fucking <laughs> grinder. <laughs> sriracha salt. And I and it's a thing, like, I see it a lot yeah. now, but, yeah, yeah, to put on the rim. But it's, like, uh, just a, like, like anybody would have at their house, like, a salt grinder. And he's, like, it's just spicy-ass <laughs> salt. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the, the tapatio. We, we got some tapatio sauce. And originally we bought like one of the probably medium sized bottles. We're like, this should last a good long while. It lasts like a month. So then we bought one of the big bottles. You know, it's just like it's like glug, half glug, fucking glug. tapatio, like quarter chilada or clamato, quarter beer. Uh, I still don't. I still don't know how you fucking drink that clamato oh, stuff, man. Oh, it's good. God damn. You put like red pepper in there and shit too, like crushed red pepper. You put on pizza. Mm-hmm. No. And in our chiladas, uh, do lime, Worcestershire. Clamato, a uh, little bit of sriracha salt, tapatio, and the beer, and then with oh. the with the rim. A lot. <laughs> it's, it's it's really like, here's though. the thing: I would probably I would probably try it for the sp- like regardless of the spiciness, even though I know that would suck. But I cannot do clamato. I will fucking get sick of shit. I got tomato juice in the <laughs> fridge instead, or vegetable juice. Damn. You can do that. <laughs> Damn it, you fucking caught me. Gotcha. No, but also, yeah. I, oh, man. Clam, clam juice, tomato juice. That's what clamato is. Anybody who didn't know that? There you go. It's good. Lesson learned. It's like Italian food. Hey, who's all on? Also, by the way, we've had a couple people jump in. Uh, it hasn't popped up and let us know who. So uh, just say hey or hi or hello. Say hello. Mm. Hola. Whatever you prefer. No, it's your kind of want a spicy beer. It we want to know good. what's up. We want to know who's <laughs> hanging out with us tonight. I think I Because we love interacting with you guys more than anything. Uh, what the fuck's called sriracha here? But I don't know if I have any other shit. <laughs> Just put it on your wife's to-do list. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was sriracha. List. There was a grocery list upstairs on the fridge one night, and fucking Tate put sriracha on there so it would be here in case he ever wanted it, and Julie actually went out and got it. For fried rice, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we'll have it in the fucking sweetheart. cabinet forever. Yeah. It will fucking... I like the taste of clam, though, at all. Ugh. Yeah, she, she's not lying. I mean, you don't. That's what taste she said. In it. Oh. <laughs> no. Uh, as far as drink food pairing, I'd have to say like a good spicy beer and like a, a shish kebab. Like that's uh, I'm good. all yeah. about that. So it's got the vegetables that I want, and then like a big nice. It's probably like medium. steak shish kebab. Yeah. Okay. So, or just a big chunk of beef, but uh, it's got like a, a medium medium rareish chunk of beef to it too or a couple of those with the well done uh, mm. vegetables speaking in it. of a food that we need to try at some point mm. man and I feel like like me and you going in together and like making this together this would be the way to do it chili it was no it was a <laughs> it was a lobster bacon mac and cheese pie that sounds that sounds and awful. it was lobster <laughs> like grilled to like they and the, obviously in the video it was grilled to fucking perfection and then they diced it into smaller pieces and then they made a homemade I mac and cheese. Lobster. Made in a homemade mac and cheese. Stirred those in, and put them in a pie crust. And then instead of latticing pie crust on top, they latticed bacon, and they baked that. And then, like that was the thing. And I was like, oh my god, I want a slice of that right now. That like, sounds. I mean, it sounds, sounds awesome, man. The, the pie crust, maybe not, but the the bacon. Like mac that, and li- but that, like that light, fluffy crunch to it with everything, like. I would think that the hopefully the bacon's gonna be crunchy enough. Like if I had to make something like that, I would make a really good mac and cheese. Are you a get crunchy that bacon guy? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh what? yeah. What? Fuck that slimy oh, bacon, yeah. man. No, I don't want it slimy, dude. I just want it to have some chew to it. I don't want like mm. bite it and it breaks. If oh, I if I go to bite a piece of bacon and it breaks, like that, no, not, not that crunchy, not like crumbly crunchy, but like it enough where it's, it's like nice and firm. Bit and yep, just nice and firm. Nice and firm. I don't want to break. I want to have to bite. I don't want it. that fucking. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. No, I don't want there to be. I don't want there to be bent to it. Like pick it up and it leans over kind of thing. Bacon but is like, like a art. Because like, it can either be way too fatty. Have you ever had deep fried bacon? Like in a deep fryer? I don't think so. Oh, dude. But I mean, you guys like it crispy, so it might not be a thing. But like, oh, 
Because it's so, like, juicy and fucking... Oh, man. Fried bacon. Like, the bacon is horrible for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're not talking... We're not counting calories, people. Don't when judge we us. To, uh, Heart of Dixie. Like, their bacon. I liked that kind of bacon. That was good bacon, but that wasn't crunchy. It, it wasn't, it wasn't like, snap crunchy, but it was nice and firm. It was firm Yeah, bacon. it was firm. Okay, it okay, so like that's what I'm talking bacon. about. Like, yeah. you, could, you couldn't take it and, like, break it. You would have to, like, tear it a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want it to be, like, no droop, nothing like that. Like, you pick up a piece of bacon, and that's the form it holds. Like, I'm, yeah. Dude, and the consistency well, you shouldn't that be able to hold too. the slice and go, yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Just crush it. No, uh, no but yeah, but I'm saying, burnt. like, like I, don't, yeah, I, don't, yeah. I, don't, I don't want to take the bacon. I don't want to be able to snap it at all. Like, if you're going to if you're gonna <laughs> break it, you have to, like, either tear it or, like, bite through it kind of thing. I don't want crisp. <laughs> I don't want, cr- I don't want it <laughs> ever. No. And I actually prefer turkey bacon over bacon. Really? Call me crazy, but yeah. I do like turkey bacon. I, I've I gotten like it a couple times here recently, and it's, it's just way more lean. And I will say, yeah. I love cooking turkey bacon way more than regular bacon because yeah. it's a million times easier. <laughs> like hand and foot. Mm. I mean, like with because me there's no grease, so like you never have to worry about the bacon. Like especially if you're like cooking like a large amount, you don't have to worry about oh, shit. Now I got so much fucking bacon grease in here. Like we mm. always bake ours. We we put it on a rack on a baking pan, bake it. And then it gets the perfect texture that we want yeah. and everything, so that works really. But well. even then, like, I've yeah, I, I will say I, I do, I, I do like turkey bacon from now and then. Like, it's not, it's not, it's not bad bacon. It actually tastes pretty fucking good. Yep. So for your lobster mac, I'd have to make the macaroni and cheese. I'd get the lobster. I'd add the lobster, and then I would, I wouldn't do a lattice on top though. It'd be, it'd be like a casserole almost, and then I would sprinkle bacon. Sprinkle across bacon the top. on top. We could yeah. do it that way. Like that. I think that would turn out a lot better. You'd get that crunchy still, but you'd get a much richer macaroni and cheese. And then if you put it under like a broiler or something before yes. you sprinkle that on, you're gonna get that nice crunchy layer right. uh, of the cheese melting across yeah. the top and getting. And I was thinking about it too when I was watching that. I was like, well, they could have just done like a pie crust and put the bacon in it. But any grease that came out of that bacon would make that pie insides like terrible. It'd lose all that density there you got from the mac and cheese. I was say, I don't know if I would put. Uh, Oh man, that'd, that'd be a hard call. The like, casserole to put, seems amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it just sounds yeah. amazing. <laughs> I was gonna say to put uh, uncooked or cooked bacon on it. Oh, I mean, absolutely I guess if cooked. You, you might want to do like raw. If you if you baked it though, or if you're putting it under the broiler, you're still gonna cook it. But then again, that that bacon grease is gonna drip down into your your stuff too, and then it's gonna add like that bacon flavor all the way through. Is the bacon for well, a hint, or is it for bacon flavor? I would. Here's the thing. I would get the flavor. From the hint of the crumb on the top, I would not want to have bacon grease dripping through because then it all tastes like bacon. Bacon is a very easy like flavor to mask anything. Yes. So like if you have bacon drippings going through it, it's fucking done. It's bacon. Like anything you're eating, it's bacon. That's how I get my wife to eat <laughs> you know Brussels sprouts. No, for real. Any like you can if you like that's why people like wrap bacon on shit because it's like oh it only tastes like bacon. I mean for the most part it really does. Like they, okay, you wrap yeah. like jalapenos. Like, you can still yeah. kind of taste jalapeno, jalapeno, but like for the most part it but tastes like fucking bacon. We had those the other day. We had jalapeno poppers with bacon wrapped in it. But and then, here's the thing, it's not a bad thing, but if you're looking to get like a good flavor and uh, you want some bacon flavor I'm in not it, a big fan don't of fucking jalapenos, put jalapenos, but I can eat one like wrapped in bacon and stuffed with cream cheese. Yeah. Oh. Cuz it like offsets the Damn it, I wish I would have known that. I, th- the, like, crunchy or mushy jalapeno, right. depending on how it's cooked. Yeah. We, the evening that we had you guys over, that we made pizza and stuff and did all that stuff, Sarah was going to make those, but she was like, oh, no, you you guys don't do spicy. And I was like, it's not that spicy, you know, especially mm-hmm. once you've got right. the membrane and the seeds and everything out. Yeah. I was like, the seeds are the bad part. Cheesy and, yeah. A couple of weekends back when my brother was in town, uh, I went to my parents' house in Halloween, and my dad, uh, we got him a smoker for Christmas two years ago now. Yeah, two years ago now, and uh, he's out there all like unless it's like straight up like s- like snowing, <laughs> he's out there like all year round. And so he like smoked uh, corn on the cob, mac and cheese. Um, I think we had yeah ribs, uh, jalapeno poppers with the bacon wrapped around them. Like mm-hmm. all that I shit, try man. To grill I grill almost year round. Like if it's fucking. 12 degrees out, I ain't grilling. But if right. it's like, you know, 30, 30 to 40 and not like dark, I can grill. Right. If the sun's out and shit, yeah, hell yeah, I love grilling. I know Sarah's watching, so Sarah's got a picture somewhere. There's snow out on the ground, and I'm out grilling, 
and I'm in my underwear, and it's like four o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon, and I'm fucking flipping burgers on the grill on the front porch with snow everywhere. That's perfect because you got like a, a little bit of an overhang. <laughs> You got a privacy <laughs> fence, though, right? Uh, no, no, this is the front yard. Front porch. Is, oh, it's on the front porch. So were they like there. tiny whiteies? Oh no, that would have been perfect. They man. were SpongeBob boxers. They had like these big old hearts <laughs> on them and everything. Because she got them for me for uh, for Valentine's one year. And nope, I'm just out there, and you can see me. Uh, like the picture of I'm like this, just like mid scoop. Just underwear, <laughs> snow everywhere. Fucking. If I did that in my backyard, I'd probably get a fucking. Uh, uh, well, see. What do you call it? <laughs> Sex offender nice. charge or whatever. So there's like 80 uh, kids in this fucking house behind backyard, us. Backyard, yeah. Uh, anybody who's watching, give us a shout out. Say, hey, what's up? Something like that. We want to know who's here. Oh, we don't man. always get to see who joined. Uh, Facebook's kind of weird about popping up names and stuff, and we want to know who's here because yeah, uh, we appreciate you guys something. showing up for sure. Oh, we want to do it if uh, you guys if you guys didn't show up every week, like we probably would have stopped this a long time ago. But we're episode like 13 in, so like. Say hi or give us a middle finger emoji or something. Just Tate hate, hate. give us a hashtag Tate hate. We love that. We love hating on the Tate. No, Tate, if you're watching, please comment because if you are, then I get to put my wife in a very awkward position at the moment, Ooh. and I want to do that. I, I absolutely want to do that. So I hope you're watching because <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to make... You uh, messaged me rather than our group text saying he's chilling with a fellow bro in KC. Ah. Unless he messaged all of us in, individually again and showed me a picture he's drinking. Nope. Boulevard Bourbon Barrel Quad Barrel Aged Ooh, Ale. That shit's like a 12 8. Oh like, my it's god. It's fucking hefty. Hefty, hefty. Yeah, I can't tell from the label, but I believe you just by the fucking name. Yeah, that's a. Barrel uh, Aged. We went to Brent's house with my boss, and he had a couple of those left in the. What is that? The fridge? I guess he had a mini fridge. And he's like, do you guys want these? And I was like, I'm not going to drink that. So Neff grabbed one. And I was like, holy shit. <laughs> it's like drinking <laughs> fire. <laughs> and Neff's like, oh, it's, it's, it's great. It's great. It's great. <laughs> They're good beer, man. <laughs> oh, I hate the wall. <laughs> it was, oh, no way. Oh. <sighs> No, I told Sarah. Man, that stout is a long drink, man. Yeah. I just got through it. I'm still trying. Can, Can I, I snag one of your cans? Yeah, dude. Well, if you're doing that, grab me one of your stouts and I'm going to give it a shot. All right. Well, since Sarah brought it back up, uh, no, Sarah at some point is going to do chicken parmesan for the group since uh, Tate made fried chicken. So nice. I know you're not a, a big Italian guy. Or at least not what we had lasagna. Not like marinara lasagna. and shit, but I'm not a condiment guy. Okay. But as far as like cheese and meat and breading, fuck yeah. I just don't do condiments. Ah, pickle baby. So no putting bread. her on the spot for that. So she's gonna have to gonna have to pick up that slack. Maybe instead for you, we'll make you like a like a chicken parmesan sub or something like that. <laughs> Throw some meatballs in there, some Italian sausage. The, the chicken, and then just a little bit of marinara with some cheese, make it for you. Some garlic. Give you enough food that you could probably last a week on it. Be the way to go. She makes she makes a damn good chicken parmesan. <clears throat> I asked him if he liked the bourbon barrel quad. He said, fuck yeah. Tate would drink gas if, <laughs> if it got him drunk and didn't kill him. <laughs> tell, tell me I'm wrong uh, Tell me I'm wrong I can't deny that <laughs> And he'd still give it the same rating that he does every beer 4 out of 10 <laughs> <laughs> Delicious 4 out of 10 <laughs> Best yet 4 out of 10 <laughs> Sorry I always forget Oh to do man so, hate that. But, so we had that Oh you want to talk about your, uh, your Moab 240? Yeah. Is it Moab? Mob? Moab? Moab. I think. Let's see what it stands for. I don't know what it even stands for. But it's a 238 mile race <coughs> that these psychopaths do. This one's Dishinko. <laughs> but they're running it without stopping almost. 
like they take. Oh uh, yeah, it's like the long, long, uh, long term endurance racing. Yeah, like ultra marathons. A marathon's what twenty six point two miles. Yeah. Uh, they do a lot of these actually, like in Kansas and the surrounding these, states. Uh, there's a guy from Ab. Well, he's from Inter- he lives in Enterprise. I think they still do. Uh, you ever heard of? Or it used to be Bretto's, and now it's Tostin Sauce Pizza in Abilene. The people who own that, the Sprouses. William Sprouse, he actually does these ultra marathons, which is like a hundred mile races and shit. Yeah, the long and it more take, miles. Yeah, and he takes and it takes like two days to complete these fucking races and shit. Like he does them, and it like it's insane. Like, yeah, he, these people that do these two hundred forty and hundred mile races, they do like a marathon a day for practice and training. Every yeah. day running twenty six miles. That's fucking nuts. But this chick won. The Moab 240. Let's see what Moab stands for. So 240 is 240 miles. It was 238 miles. They just called it the 240, I think, just right. for uh, smooth talking. Round but she shape. beat everybody by like 10 hours? Yes. She's 32 years old. Her name is Courtney DeWalter. Yeah. D-A-U-W-A-L-T-R. Kicked the second place ass by 10 hours finished in what 56 or 58 i think it was 58 56 I thought no it was 56 you're right That's 56 right. hours for 240 miles she pretty much didn't rest at all <laughs> i love the urban dictionary definition there <laughs> stands for mouth on ass and balls <laughs> <laughs> oh god damn that's uh, what they named it after, actually. Because they were like, after you finish this race, you're going to feel like your mouth's been on an ass and balls. Oh. <laughs> Dude, while, while you look up the actual... It this happened on Sunday. It doesn't even say No, in, last Sunday. It's article. Article. You would think it would. <sighs> Unless maybe that's the area? Ooh, I doubt it. It was in like Utah or some shit. Yeah. But, uh, best urban dictionary... Utah desert. So it's not even, like, a good fucking... Yeah, it's area. trail racing. Like, they do it, and they don't... Like, here's the thing. It's not 240 miles, like, on a track or, like, down a street. No. It's, like, trails, mm-hmm. like, through wilderness. Like, terrain. Through, yeah. Through Rocky. Terrain, like, and that's the same way, like I said, that one guy, he, like, he always was like, hey, this is, you know, at the 32nd hour, here I am at this, and it's, like, a picture of him in, like, a fucking forest kind yeah. of shit. Like, and the elevation insane. is insane, too, as far as, like, your breathing and shit's impacted... Uh, she was actually on Joe Rogan's podcast today, and I was kind of listening in uh, throughout work and shit. And she said one of the guys, <clears throat> there was one who was 69 years old, and he finished. Uh, they didn't say what place he got, but 69 years old running 238 miles. Can right. you imagine being in that fucking shape at that age? Especially in Arizona. Like, it's, oh, uh, that's a foul. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's your style, brother. And then the, another oh, guy, a fucking hawk came down to swoop him up like he was food. Like he said that the last thing he remembered was hearing the like behind his head and then it grabs his fucking uh, head with its talons and he's got two fucking like long ass talons. These, they'll be scars. Yeah. Cause they were just like like parallel Jesus. fucking lines of blood. They were showing pictures of this guy. <laughs> <laughs> These these people are insane. How how could you even? It's nuts. Do a marathon a day, let alone commit to even signing up for this shit. And she didn't get a prize. Like she didn't even, she didn't get got nothing except like articles written about her and. Right. Uh, there wasn't like a hundred thousand dollars for no, the winner. No, she didn't get a million bucks. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Right. She just did it to test her fucking life. Yeah. Like Dude. she's the winner of the, you know. 2017 Moab 240. Yeah. Like the original Ninja Warrior, like the Japanese Ninja Warrior, where you don't win any money and it's just all about you being a badass. To fame. Yeah. Oh, man. Sarah, I loved watching the original Japanese Ninja Warriors compared to the American Ninja Warrior. Mm-hmm. Because it was. It was the dudes. Like, oh, the same they would way. come out every year. And one of the dudes, he came out in his work uniform every fucking year for 17 fucking years and did that shit. I mean, only two people won in like 22 years. Jeez. It wasn't somebody needs to win every season. It was just like, do you do it? Do yeah. you not do it? Like, that shit was nuts. And, and, and it's, I was thinking about it after, like, b- between me hearing some of what she was saying and, like, now, 
it's probably a good thing they don't have an outstanding prize for this because then they'd have a shit ton more contestants and people like dying of fucking heat right. shrug yeah. and who just weren't prepared. They would to try, react, yeah, not having, they're just yeah. going for the money instead of like what she's doing and just pushing her mental and physical strength to be. And then here, here's the thing, like training even most this. people who are listening to us now, they've never even heard of this type of race. You know, no. like it's, it's not something that's widely spoken about. Like it's not on ESPN. You right. won't get nobody will talk about this on the uh, They might because they're up. talking because about it's a big topic. negative shit. Yeah. Instead of like people actually accomplishing unheard of things. They're I just, mean that's insane. Fifty six hours, two hundred and forty miles. And she rested for like one minute. Yeah. Yeah. You said she was like going blind at the end of it or something. For yeah. the last uh, last twelve, 12 miles, miles. She, she was, was blind. losing her vision. Like, I think that's what this picture is here where she's got these two sticks and she's guiding herself. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to, like, stay up. It took her five hours of rest afterwards in order for her to start to regain her sight. And with her going blind and shit, she, like, fell a bunch of times. So, like, at the end, she puts her sticks down or whatever, feels her head to see if she's bleeding. But she can't see the fucking, her hand in front of her face and know if it's blood or, like, sweat. Uh, I can't believe the, just even the mental fortitude that would take. Right. To go fucking 50 miles. That's not even 25% of the race. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> yeah, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't do it. I think anyone could if they well, yeah, yeah, prepared yeah. and just... But said, it takes... Because here's work. the thing, like, <laughs> not a, like, you, like you said, <laughs> no you have to run marathons every day just yeah. for like keeping in shape. Um, your diet restriction is 100% devoted to that. She doesn't, though. She's like, I just eat whatever. Like, oh, really? Sure you have to. In She's order like, to do I love something my like carbs, that. so I have energy, but. I was saying, I bet I say you'd have, have to do a calorie load. load yeah, but as far as like a strict plan, she was like, I just, I'm just me. I don't. She go said that in there. Like, I didn't crazy. intend to do blah, 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 blah. And it wasn't. It, she's like, I'm fiercely competitive. But it's never about what sacrifice do I have to make. It's right. just, I'm doing it. Yeah. She's just like, I, I say I'm going to do it and not stop, and that's it. And she ran out of water or something. One time, like, fucking so many miles in and had, like, three hours of running without water. And she's like, instead of freaking out and just going over over my head, like, what am I going to do? I just say, it is what it is. I'm out of water, and I have this long to my next stop. My next, like, aid station, water stop. Yeah, because normally so, people like, who run those races, they have, uh, like, partner or part partners they that will, trackers. like, yeah, meet them at certain points to give them water, to give them calories, mm -hmm. to give them, like, you know, they'll, sh they'll show up and they have, like, the packs, you mm -hmm. know, like, almost like the, the Gatorade pack things to where it's, like, like, sucrose or whatever, but, like, certain, and they just fucking suck them down or eat something and fucking go. Like, yeah. It's fucking nuts, man. It's crazy to think about. It is. 240 miles. Just, We're just running it. That's like running the Kansas City, I think. Isn't that like two and a half-ish? It's more than that. It's further than Kansas City would be. Jesus. As I say, Kansas City is like, uh, I want to say it's like 170, 180 miles. And on rough there. terrain. Yeah. And just there, running there was that another guy. With a minute rest. One minute I wanna rest. I want to say he was in like Washington or something they were talking about. That was like out on these trails running or training or maybe he was in a race. And he, like, called his mom and said, "There's this bear's been following me for miles. <laughs> and the bear ended up killing him. Really? Yeah. Because he's out, like, training for one of these fucking things. And then the bear eventually stalked him? him for miles and miles. and then it, That wow. is fucking nuts. Yeah, dude. That's, That's fucking, totally fucking nuts. He Fuck basically that. told his mom that there's a bear that's been following me forever. I think he's going to kill me. And... <laughs> That's fucking crazy. And you're dude. out in the middle of nowhere. What the fuck are you going to do? Yeah. You got a little pack with some water. Keep running. <laughs> Keep fucking running. You don't have a fucking 50 cal to take that bear out. Yeah. That'd be, a, I guess that'd be motivation to keep fucking, that'd be good training because you wouldn't stop running. Promise you that. Oh, shit. You definitely wouldn't stop running. Spread his heart out. Could have exploded and the bear ate him. Yeah, dude. So. God, you see, you talking we us talking about bears killing people or whatever. I'm immediately thinking of the movie Swiss Army Man. How fucking is that fucked up? I, I thought, thought you were thinking of that. Bear. <laughs> no, I was thinking I was thinking of Swiss Army Man. Have you seen it with Daniel Radcliffe, H Harry Potter? Uh -uh. It's on uh, Hulu, man. Yeah, 
It's either Hulu or Amazon Prime. I can't remember. Yeah, I think it's on both, but I know it's on Amazon. I don't think I've seen any movie with him in it. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting movie. You should check it out. It's 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 weird, but like it's good too. I like it. Of course, he's like a Swiss Army knife. Yeah. Yeah. He's got different different shit and and stuff. Yeah. It's a weird movie. So, you got to the uh, urban dictionary definition of uh, Moab. (laughs) What's your What's your favorite Urban Dictionary definition? I already know. <laughs> oh, I, I hope I hope it's not the same as mine. I fucking hope it is. I don't isn't. think I have one. What? <laughs> All right. All right. Go bring up bring up Urban Dictionary if you would. Bring up yours. What's your What's no, your No, no, no. What's the word? No, not not yet. What is it? Not Just yet. tell me. Not yet. Not yet. All right. We'll we'll see. Yeah. Go. Is this a thing? Yeah. Urban Dictionary? No, like having a favorite. <laughs> I just have one that like I've always remembered since I like saw it on Urban Dictionary. I've never forgot it. Oh man, I hope it's not mine because I love mine. Well, what? the daily one uh, is puppernecking. <laughs> the act of slowing down traffic to look at a cute dog. Oh, that one's not that bad. Puppernecking. All God. right, that's cool. Why is this guy in front of me going so damn slow? Girl, he must be puppernecking. <laughs> Look at the adorable doggo on the sidewalk. All right, what's your favorite, Jason? Charizard. Oh, man. See, that's not even close to mine. No, oh, God. All right, now read that shit. Read that out loud. While having sex with a girl with pubic hair, light her pubes on fire as you ejaculate. Your semen will put out half the burning hair, and afterwards she is flapping her arms about wildly, screaming, You don't have enough badges to train me? And runs out of the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Can you imagine that? Just, <laughs> and then you just like, light that shit. What the fuck? What? You don't have the badges to train me? <laughs> That's horrible. oh Jesus Christ! I love that one. I fucking love that one. Yeah. That one's so good. All right, so mine's a two part. Ooh, okay. Uh, the first part is you don't have to look it up. Part. I already know what it is. Well, <laughs> the two, two part, part. Yeah. Uh, the first part is Ice Dragon. Uh, Which is uh, when a when a woman a girl is uh, I guess depending on your sexuality I'll say this uh, it, or it could be anybody is performing fellatio on you and right before you ejaculate you put your hand on the back of her head and you force oh, see white dragon that's how I had always heard it white dragon okay but right before you ejaculate you sh- you force her head onto the your penis and and w- in doing so she does kind of one of those <laughs> things like. Jo- and, and then you ejaculate, and it shoots uh, the semen out of her nose. And that's an ice dragon. Now, this brings it up to my favorite one. Uh, and it's a two-part. The ice dragon is that. Jenny then there's the strawberry, then there's the strawberry shortcake. Oh, Jesus Christ. Then there's, the, disgusting. then there's the strawberry shortcake, where you do the exact same scenario. She's performing fellatio. You force her head down. It shoots semen out of her nose. And then, to make uh, the strawberry shortcake, you punch her in the nose. <laughs> and it even says on here, uh, uh, does it say... No, that's not what it's. Uh, it's it, it says something about uh, like the the uh, the bloody semeny mixture together resembles strawberry shortcake. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> the semen it's, and blood fluids create a red and white image, just like the icing and filling of a shortcake. <laughs> no, the <laughs> it's fucked up, but like it's always like I've never forgotten that fucking time that I randomly bad. saw Urban Dictionary strawberry shortcake. Your your ice dragon, uh, in high school, our coach. What? Was uh, <laughs> talking. Whoa! About... Where is the story going? Okay, so our coach, what? I, I mean, <laughs> he was he was a raunchy guy, but uh, he was talking to us. And he's like, he's like, you guys ever give? Do you ever give a girl a white dragon? And we're like, what the? What? What's Jesus a white dragon? Crap. Coach, coach, tell me what's a white this. dragon? And what sport he, coach was this? Uh, baseball. No. <laughs> and and that's when he, he tells us, and we're like, what? <laughs> what? This is a thing. <laughs> No way! And then immediately, all, all female populations like never dragon. gonna watch Brewdog again. <laughs> they're like, "Fuck these oh, guys! They're a bunch man. of perverts." So hey, we didn't come up with these things. Yeah, we I just don't read them. And heard I don't them. even like the definition of a chart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not. It's not crazy hilarious or anything, especially if you understand what that's about and watched the show Pokemon and played, or played the, game the game Pokemon. Yeah. Jeez. And then you have your your Pokemon that actually turns on you because you don't have that badge level. 
because you got it as a trade, uh, so and so didn't respond because you don't have whatever. Jeez. <coughs> Goddamn Charizard. You don't have enough badges to trade. <laughs> Uh, I need to start yelling at like my wife, like take out the trash. You don't have no bad in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> What's your Pokemon Go level, bro? <laughs> uh, oh, Pokemon Go! I saw there was a uh, there's a thing and there's a video that I saw. Uh, being uh, October near All Hallows Eve, they have a whole shit ton of new spooky Pokemon that pop out at night. Oh, that'd be cool. Uh, they're all new Pokemon that I don't fucking recognize at all. But I'm like second gen and. After that, it got to shit. I think it got to four. They started turning into, like, Digimon, and I was fucking out. <laughs> like, I liked Digimon as itself. Are you talking Pokemon? Yeah. But, like, after second gen, they started... Like, now there's, like, oh, a... Back. there's Now there's literally a Pokemon that's, like... I don't know what its fucking name is, but it's a bag of trash. Really? Is that a thing? It, lo- <coughs> it looks like I'm a fucking, like, that. black bag of trash, and it's a Pokemon. Do you know what the second gen, like... Started as, because I think I only made it through first. Uh, first gen starts at like uh, Zapdos. I uh, love Zapdos. Electros, all those. Uh, second gen, uh, like as far as like starting off, yeah, like your starting off Pokemon was the. Uh, fuck, I can't think of it. But second second gen was like. Uh, fuck, I can't think. Of it. Yeah, Chiquita, all that, like... Yeah, I stopped before that, I think. Yeah. Like I said, second gen had some pretty good ones. Uh, I don't think I can be convicted, since it's like 20 years later, or 25, right. I don't know. We used to go to Food for Less, which is now some electric place over there by uh, Kmart. Yeah, yeah, okay, I know what you're talking about. We'd ride our fucking bikes over there or walk over there <clears throat> and just raid them of Pokemon cards. <laughs> fucking jack them. <laughs> We'd, like, buy some random shit and just pocket all their Pokemon cards and then take them to Todd at the arena back when he was out at the Mid-State Mall <clears throat> and trade them in for better shit or money or whatever to fucking booze or <laughs> <laughs> damn dude fucking hustling at an early age <laughs> were you talking about second gen starters we like, out here I think yeah, we were bit. probably but he's talking about hustling fucking Pokemon cards for booze basically like, I booze? think I was in middle school my brother was like oh, no, 10 or 11 Damn. yeah we were hustlers at an early age he said they were food for less what were you here when food for less or I mean, oh. uh, Gibson's was it Gibson's or Food for Less? Behind Arby's? Yeah. There was a Food yeah. for Less. Food for Less. Yeah, we sniped the shit out of them on Pokemon cards. He said they would buy random shit and then just jack all the Pokemon cards and then go sell them to Todd. You know how it was like a rare in every mm-hmm. pack? We'd take like 10, 20 packs in a run. And they kept fucking ordering the things, too. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing that they weren't selling them. Then we'd trade them in for cash or whatever the fuck we were getting at the time. Go and like buy a bike at Walmart through... Stealing Pokemon cards, like whatever. We're bad. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, frustrated with my old self. <laughs> I'm a good guy now. So where are we at? Let's take what, Chikorita, Totodile, Cyndaquil. Hour and a half. Yeah. Yep. Hour and a half on the dot. <clears throat> Damn, dude. We were even saying earlier, we're like, man, we're not gonna go like, near two hours tonight. We're gonna cut it early. Tate's not here. We'll fucking cut it short. But uh, nobody's saying shit. Yeah, yeah, right. everybody's quiet yeah, tonight, cool. man. Let him chill. We're just kicking it. <clears throat> I think. I think. Like I said, the change, the change in the weather, man. I think it's making everybody a little bit tired. Probably everybody's just chillaxing. Oh, which maybe. by all means, do it. We it, should do holiday drinks. Is it time change this Sunday? I, I fucking hope not. I hope not. I think yeah. Fall back. Oh, I that fucking hope fucking not. Suck. I can't afford to lose an hour on Sunday. No, we gain one. Wait. Yeah. You oh yeah. Back. Okay. It's not spring forward. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Even we then. Gain. Okay, then I could. Even yeah, then, yeah, that's yeah, gonna yeah. fuck me up, dude. I could absolutely use an extra hour. <laughs> it's gonna be all dark when we get up still. It already is. My kid fuck. complains about that now. I can't get up. 
It's still dark outside. Get the fuck up. <laughs> I gotta take you to the bus and I gotta drive there in the dark. So I can go to work and get off in the fucking dark. <laughs> I can't imagine having a kid, man. It's awesome. So think of all the best parts about you and that's all you have to teach them. Only the shit that you like. <laughs> you, don't have to teach them, you don't have to teach them your neuroses and you don't have to teach them your... Uh, the things that you're scared about or, you know, all your neuroticism. No, no, no. You teach them all the really cool shit. And then they're always just about the cool shit. So you wake up in the morning and they're out there yelling at your fucking Amazon Echo to play only songs that you like because they like those songs too. (laughs) So, like, the last week and a half, my kid, every fucking day, she goes out there, Alexa, play Carry On My Wayward Son by Kansas. (laughs) Alexa. (laughs) Yeah. Alexa, play, uh, oh, God, what, uh, Cause she's, you got what I need by Biz Marquee. Like, that's all she Because like. she's figured out what you yeah. enjoy her and, telling it to play. And she of... likes them, too. And she's <laughs> yeah. like, Alexa, play Paper Planes by M.I.A. Alexa, play The Shins. Alexa, play this. Like, she, it's fucking awesome. It's so fucking awesome. Or she'll be like, this thing happened. I'm like, I'm actually interested in this thing. Please tell me more. <laughs> 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 or, or, like, she'll watch me play games, and she's like, I remember that time when this thing happened. I was like, I didn't remember that. Now I remember to do this. Thanks. Like, she, oh, yeah. Or the coolest thing, the coolest fucking thing. I mean, it, it's going to sound really dumb, and it's going to sound just stupid as shit. So the Super Metroid races have been going on since July. And I watched them. My wife was like, I don't fucking watch Super Metroid. My kids were like, I don't play. The, the game's 25 years old. I don't care about it. But I've been watching it on and off. Everyone, Can I interject? Know, go ahead. <laughs> when we, you were over here for the women's cast that night. Yeah. And she's sitting at the table. And you were over there and you had your sound barely up. And she goes, <laughs> he's watching Super Metroid. Yes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you just hear like the background music very faint. Right. Over her tablet, my TV. Is so that what you were going to say? No, almost. So <laughs> within the last month-ish, uh, she got to the point where she's watched them with me enough, not because of me, but with me enough, where she wants to hang out and, and actually learn about this, that she understands what's going on in these races. So she can tell when somebody's ahead or when they're missing an item or Damn. where they need to go to get this item. Like, oh, he picked up Speed Boost. Now he can go to Meridia. And she'll, she'll say that shit, and I'm like, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're seven. How do you know this? Like, it, it's so fucking cool. That's it's for sure. So like, oh, cool. he fucked up. He ain't winning. Oh, she, she has before. <laughs> she was talking about a, a, a guy didn't get... Uh, Why did he go over here? <laughs> a guy didn't get freeze, and he went to the the last place. And she's like, he didn't have freeze rate. It's going to take him a really long time. I was like, I know. <laughs> it's going to take him a really long time. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. But, I mean, it, it's really cool. You get to teach them stuff like that. And you get to watch their own personality develop and the things that they like and the things that they don't like. And, and Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus I don't actual. understand. I, I don't understand. I can't judge her on the fact that she watches these videos of kids opening, uh, like, random, like, figures and stuff like that. I'm like, why do you watch that shit? And then I go and watch Twitch, and I'm like, oh, that's why you watch it, because that's your generation. That's what you do. It's not sports anymore. It's now this, and then it's going to be that, and whatever the fuck it is. But Those are like the surprise egg things? Yeah. They open, they don't know what's inside? Yeah. Or she's got packets for like, kind of everything. I mean, everything that she plays with. Shopkins. Shopkins is a big fucking one. I'm like, I don't get Shopkins. They're like, I bet you don't get Ninja Turtles. Or Power Rangers. Right. Do you fucking understand Power Rangers? Fuck you. Go back to 1992. <laughs> <laughs> but, no, I mean, you get to watch her develop as... You get to watch them develop as a person, and they learn because you teach them, and they know the things that you teach them, and they remember that, and they hang on the things that you tell them. And you can actually watch... It, it, it's awesome, but at the same time, it's really scary because you know that every one of your decisions now affects them. So, it's cool, yeah. it's scary. But you do know that somebody looks up to you and appreciates you and is like, I only see the good in this person for, for now, anyway, until she's old enough to realize that I fucking make mistakes and I'm not just <laughs> awesome all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Which will no, never it's, happen, it's ever. It, 
It really is great. I mean, if you get, if you decide that you'd like to have kids, uh, I don't know if that's in, if that's something that you've decided on, uh, but if you do, they're they're really cool. They're really cool. I mean, that and it's it's always awesome to be sitting there and watching a show or something or being someplace and you just go, and you have somebody whose little tiny hand is just, <laughs> and they, that's all they want to do. They just want to hang out with you. They want to be you, and you're like. Man, I couldn't be prouder of myself. That is pretty crazy. Oh, though. somebody wanting to be you. I'm cool with just being Uncle Neff to everybody. Like, <laughs> I'm down with that dog. Like, but <laughs> no, nope, I like treating her like a little person. I mean, I, I think you saw that one evening where she was playing the board game with us, and she was being really shitty in her position. Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> she's, she's like, I don't know. I thought this was a good choice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm like five. I don't know. I don't. Most days I don't know what I'm doing at all. And now you're gonna put me in a game scenario. I'm twelve, and what is this? <laughs> There's no. I have no fucking clue at all. She's no. funny. Oh, she's she's great at times. I mean, oh, yeah. Chantel. Other times it's just about scary. motherfucking time. What are you doing, Finally. girl? <laughs> Say, we're about to sign off for the evening. Are you running on a uh, fucking treadmill right now? Two hundred and forty miles. Hey, you're running 240 miles on treadmill. Yeah, you camera. missed our marathon talk. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, now we're just talking about booze. You it's fucked cute. up. It's we were cute. talking about the stuff you like, the whole stand and shift stuff. Not anymore. Talked about booze, Pokemon, kids. It's weird. Now what I want to talk about is how much I love if bread. You must know I was getting a facial. Or oh. kind. Oh, and as I'm typing <laughs> you, I almost got ran over by a motorized scooter. Hey, how about don't get <laughs> ran over and stuff? Yeah. Was it like a moped or was it like a motorized actual scooter, like a <laughs> like a dude standing up on a scooter and almost ran the badass fuck over? Was a Razor scooter with a little engine on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like the nice. Oh, luxury man. It's like a skateboard with him. Getting on. a facial, girl. You can fancy. Well, he was asking what kind of facial. <laughs> that was him, not me. I don't know who threw that in. Facial scrub. That, that's what I don't, one of us said it. I don't remember who it was. But I, I want to know what Chris kind of scooter too, though. <laughs> oh man. Oh, fucking cold. You just go away. It's just that change. Getting sick. It's bringing back out. I was sick all weekend. Now I'm like recovering. On the recovery period. I hope I don't get sick today, man. Make sure to wear your your hoodie this weekend. Yeah. Little lady and her dog. Uh, so it was obviously at, like a... At uh, least, in all caps, like it's so fast. Turbo was turned at on. At least 900. <laughs> it was a fucking moped. Dope. One of them where she's sitting here like this. <laughs> like a Vespa. <laughs> and her feet are all tucked in. So, okay, here's the thing. Uh, man, I don't remember how old I was. I bought a uh, moped at one point in time. It was right before uh, I went off to go to school uh, in college. Uh, you bought so a moped? it was probably like my junior year of high school, something like that. It wasn't right before, obviously, that way. Because uh, I know I, for a fact I still had it my senior year because I took uh, my prom date that year on my moped. What? Uh, <laughs> no, but this is awesome. Okay, so I bought it and like I had pl- I had made plans with my friend. He was going to get off work. I drove, uh, my brother drove me there to Salina in my car. Uh, and I was going to buy the moped, I was going uh, to like put it in the back of my buddy's pickup, go back to town, back to Abilene, from Abilene to Salina. So we get there, I buy the thing or whatever, uh, show up the cash, I'm like, this is how much I'm buying it for, some of this moped, so I did. Um, and I call my buddy, and he's not there, he's not there, I call him, and he's like, oh, I gotta, I had to work a little bit late, I'll be there shortly. I'm like, how about this, man, I'll meet you in Solomon. I said, I'm going to get on it, I'm going to drive. So I took old 40 to Solomon. Which is like on a state highway. Yeah. Take Jesus. I, get, I fucking take it that way. Uh, I fucking get there, and it, like he's still at work. I'm like, you know what, fuck it, I'm just going to drive it all the way to Abilene. So I rode all the way from Salina to Abilene on a moped. Did it like, take you like an hour? Like, semis passing. Dude, it was <laughs> such a long time, dude. It took so long. But, like, it was, like, straight off the lot. <laughs> fucking, yeah, it was, like, an hour, hour, 15-minute ride. All the way Jesus. Back to like, they were, like, motorcycles passing me. I was giving them the motorcycle wave and stuff. So I knew that shit. <laughs> were like, they doing a bad? Like, semis were passing me and shit, dude. You want to be terrified for your life? Have fucking a semi shake, pass you going 60 miles per hour, and you're on a fucking moped. Like, did the motorcycle dudes even wave back? Yeah. 
Really? Most of them did, yeah. I would know. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny shit. And, I would have flipped you man, off. Man, I took that thing. Oh, you, you're not one of us. <laughs> but what's funny, okay, so my senior year, uh, a good friend of mine, since we were like young kids, our uh, our moms were really good friends. Uh, her name's Kobe Jackson. Uh, or her name was so Kobe Jackson. Her, na- her name is Kobe Anderson now. But uh, we, just, we said like a long time ago, like we were like in like third grade, we were like, we're going to go to senior prom together. Like that was something that we fucking told each other. Uh, and it came up like senior year and she's like, Hey, you remember when we said we were going to go senior prom together? I'm like, yeah, I fucking do. And she's like, we should definitely like, we should hold ourselves true to that. We should do it. Cause we're, like I said, we're great friends. Uh, I think she was dating a guy at the time out of maybe here in Salina and I, uh, I was dating a chip out of like Chapman, I think. And like, I think they were both bummed. Well, obviously he wasn't cause I think she was dating an old guy, but like the chick I was dating, she was like, she was bummed. I was like, no, I told her like third grade, we're going senior prom together. Like, yeah. That's what we're going to do. And, How the uh, fuck do you even know what senior prom was at that time? I don't know. I'm fucking know. <laughs> I'm fucking know. We did, though. I don't know what uh, the fuck that was. But uh, my fucking, uh, my parents live, like, two blocks away from the high school. So, like, every year so you, could see, you, could, you could see, like, the prom uh, lineup of cars and stuff. Uh, they used, I think, they used to do it, like, the block away, but then they started doing it, like, right in front of my parents' house. So, like, it went right there. Uh, so we sat around my parents' house and, like, had food, took our pictures, all that, hung out, blah, blah, blah. And then, like, it was time to go, and I just get on my moped, she gets on the back, and we just, like, fucking pass everybody. And we just, we're driving, they're, like, they're all parked, right? We just pass everybody. We get all the way over the front, like, no problem. Oh, yeah. Out. Dude, it was, like, because I went, as my junior year, obviously, I went, too, but, like, that prom was, like, the best time ever because, like, there were no attachments. Like, we went in. Like, we, we made sure that we did a couple dances together or whatever. But other than that, like, we just had a blast and party with everybody else. Uh, she was homecoming queen that year. Uh, and I remember my good buddy, he was a junior at the time. He was a year younger uh, in school than I was. Uh, I remember everybody's, like, out dancing in, like, you know, the middle of a mob or whatever. And I look over, and he wore kilts to prom that year. And he's, like, dancing with her. He's like, I'm dancing with the homecoming queen. Like, swinging his jacket. I'm dancing with the Like, it was fucking a blast, man. I'll never forget it because it was, like, so let loose so no no ties just fucking you're there to have fun remember the last year that you have a freedom <laughs> a pure freedom <laughs> shit I never went to either either prom yeah I was there my junior year like it was fun but it was after eh, like the middle, like, middle school like dances and freshman year shit I was like man fuck it I'm gonna get high and <laughs> no, I, I I got you on that, man. Get you on some play Xbox. <laughs> Big Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Man, yeah, I keep God seeing people. I keep seeing people like post videos of like, dude, it is Tony Hawk's. I'm like, God, I wish I could get a hold of that somehow, like you have it a version Steam. of it. Or yeah. can you get it on your emulator? Yeah. I have it on my emulator. We should play that sometime. Yeah. Okay. The original, like... Uh, the original or two. I like either two one. better. Either, either one I'm good with, yeah. Because in two, you can do a manual and wall jumps. What's the one... Uh, I can't even describe it. You go down this chute, and it's an indoor... Yeah, that's one. It's, it's like immediately a half, a half pipe. pipe. Like yeah. the main... And there's the window. That's, that's yeah. the one. Yeah, I was gonna say one? It's, it's the first one. That's the very. It's the first very level. first stage on the first one. <laughs> yeah, because Tony Hawk was it Tony Hawk two <sighs> or was it a later Tony Hawk? Like that level, you would play again, but then you could go into a second. Prom day was fell asleep and yeah. his pasta at Applebee's, and he was on ecstasy. Needless to say, I didn't dance with him, and I rethought my prom date for the next year. Aww, I should have went with you, Chantel. What the fuck? Yeah, sure, went well, Chris. I would have taken you. Why didn't you hit me up? Like I said, I had a blast of prom. We would have had a good time, man. Hanging out. Dancing. At least I know g- you're still with us. I think we got you and Neff here still. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm off, dude. Uh, oh, you're off? I closed shit up, so somebody else is with us. Probably, Probably, Probably Sarah, yeah. Sarah yeah. and Chantel. I was hoping you would sign on earlier. We're going to see if we could uh, link you in. I wonder if she got in because we Snapchat. We Snapchat uh, Chantel this. earlier. Yeah. To, uh, be a hater. Dude, I saw oh, half you that know, picture I'm... on your phone as you were going over that. I was like, where the fuck is this picture of a crib? No, it's the, it's the stand for oh, the that. Oh, that? <laughs> uh, nice. Uh, Weird uh, ass table. Good times. I'm uh, trying to stay more up to date on our Snapchat, even though I'm really terrible <laughs> about doing it. But All right, if you are watching this or have watched it up to this point, 
keep an eye out for our Snapchat on the pub crawl or during the pub crawl. Yeah. There will probably be a shitload of snaps. Saturday. Uh, yeah. I'm going to say one of us is probably going to take, making sure that we're posted on Facebook as far as, hey, we're going here now. Hey, we're going here now. I'm going to try to be on the Snapchat, uh, just hitting up where we're at all the time. Uh, we want people to be able to join us at any time of the night. So, When do we want to get her on again? Uh, <laughs> she, she doesn't want to do this. Probably soon. Very soon. Mid, early to mid November, a few weeks. Yeah, before the good. end of the year for sure. Absolutely. Either like a couple weeks before Thanksgiving or between Thanksgiving and Christmas, when people are here. Yeah, probably be between Thanksgiving and Christmas would be the best bet because that's when we'll have the most people join on. I think that would be, and that gives us enough time to like plan ahead too. So let's let's say that Chantel. Between Thanksgiving and Christmas, does that yeah. work for you? Why don't you just uh, show up in Kansas again? You showed up for a wedding. Get here for the holidays. Um, boom. Be home for over a week for Christmas. Why don't you just show up and do a live present? That'd be dope. That's what I was just getting ready to say. Well, let's see what everyone's schedules are, and maybe you can just be in person. Christmas is a Monday. Is it? We'll do both. Yes. Holy shit, that sounds terrible. I guarantee you they're going to make me go to work on Tuesday. Yeah, same here. Fuck. Yeah, probably. We'll get the Friday off Fuck. before and then go back Tuesday, I bet. The yeah. f that sounds fucking miserable. Yeah, we'll work something out. We can get you on here before but then, but if you're going to be on here, here before, week, too, she yeah. wants both. <laughs> yeah. If that's the case, though, maybe I'm just going to go ahead and request the Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, because I, I have After. to use all my time up before the end of the year. So I'm just going to request all that shit. All right. Be off for like 10 days. Fly in <laughs> on Christmas Day and leave January. Oh, really? So that Tuesday would work as long as you like schedule that and don't. Uh, yeah, if, if, if Christmas is on Monday, then she'd be here on that Tuesday. Yeah. We could do a post Christmas. Maybe I'll special. request Tuesday and Wednesday <clears throat> off. Doing an eggnog, or yeah, eggnog and. Bourbon or uh, uh, hot cocoa and peppermint schnapps. Shots of Christmas tequila. Oh, <laughs> you have Christmas tequila? Is this like a cinnamon tequila? Nope, no. it's just tequila, but you drink it near Christmas. So <laughs> yeah. Beer Sounds for good. me. Yeah, Fuck yeah. liquor. Ugh. Nope. If uh, if anybody's watching who wants to join us on Saturday, <laughs> yeah. let us know. Uh, that way we can plan around you being we'll there. Post, we'll like post that. the definite time and the definite place. Right now we're planning 4 to 4.30 rendezvous. That's where we're starting off. So get there. Do that. Um, we're going to try to save it several times. Uh, I think we said it a bunch of times throughout the cast. That way everybody can uh, try to make it. But uh, we'll post it again like just as a simple text post. Um, like I said, we'll be going on our Snapchat. Anybody who doesn't have us, it's uh, Brews Bros BS. Look us up. Uh, we'll definitely add you. That way we can keep you going on that. And uh, like I said, we want to get a group of people together, a huge group of people, uh, and just have an amazing time. We always have a good time. So uh, if you want to have a good time, who are the fellas to do it with? I want to roll like 40 deep and take up the whole street. Like that's yeah. that's what I want to do. Like I said, like my biggest thing is like shit. Yeah. That's all when like we were when we were at uh, choreographed. When we were at. Uh, <laughs> Kansas City fucking, uh, what's it, what was it called? The fucking... What, the Renfest? Renfest. Yeah. Uh, they had a pub crawl there uh, that we, like, like showed up too late to sign up to, which is bullshit. <laughs> but, like, they would go from bar to bar and then have the chant that they'd say. Yeah. Whatever. I'm like, dude, that'd be dope to walk into a bar and we're all, like, chanting something. Just like, Bruce, bro, Come out with something. Bro. Yeah, we'll figure something out. But, like, that'd be fucking cool as shit. Like, 60 people just showing <laughs> up and just, like, like you said, just fucking mob chanting this place. Like... <laughs> Buying everybody out of jail accounts. Yeah, every they, time we they walk, know who the fuck we were. When we walk into a bar, we chant it, and then when we leave, we chant it. Yeah, especially like that bar's presence, understanding that like our followers and our people, like we show up with this huge posse, and they can feel it when we leave because it's like suddenly fucking empty. Yes, that'd be crazy, man. Yes, that'd be fun. But anyways, yeah, Super show up if you can. Fun. Uh, absolutely. Regardless, we should have about a dozen. Just get. Oh yeah, we'll have a we'll have oh, a yeah. pretty good posse as yeah. it is. That we know right off the bat, but as far as viewer wise goes, like, it, it, the more the merrier. Everybody's welcome. 
the show. I was going to say, what was it, last year, Halloween, we had my group of friends, <coughs> Sarah's workmates. I mean, there was probably 30 of us for the first four bars-ish. And then it kind of dwindled out because everybody went their own different ways. Right. Paige went over to your side and shit like that, but because uh, you were playing last year. Yeah. But no, I mean it was it was big. It was a big group. Yeah, we're not playing this year, so I can hang out from the get go. That'd be dope. It will be fun. Anyways, you guys, uh, you guys ready to call it a night? I yeah. am ready to call it a night. Yeah. So we made it way longer than we thought we would. We figured uh, <laughs> being as tired and as chill as everything was. God damn, we still almost made it two hours. Yep. <laughs> I was like, right at about an hour and a half. Nope, two hours. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So, cheers to everybody. Yeah. You got yep. one? Cool. Tate cheers. definitely brings with him a presence. He's got a little bit of energy. I think it's that fiery hate. But uh, We're missing you it. Know, but, uh, we love all you. Yeah. Thank you very much we for tuning Tate. in. We love you guys. Everybody. Good night. Good night. I'm going to play the intro for an outro. Do it. Play it in reverse for an outro. Is he gonna meet up? Hey baby. Peace out. We'll get it, people.